Hello. 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 I'm live now. Or it says I'm live. It's reading decibels like it was before. I don't know why my onboard mic wasn't working. Fuck, this hurts. God damn it. Oh, it's officially not my birthday anymore, thank God. I hate being reminded I'm old and haven't accomplished anything yet. Does this sound too loud? Or is... Oh, okay. There's actual sound now. Cool. <laughs> oh, another Lobo and Red Wolf. Ow, oh, shit, that hurts. I don't know how I can add people into this fucking thing. It says it's public. Uh, Google effects, YouTube, cameraman, chat. It says it doesn't say I have any viewers. Shit, this hurts. Don't let kids play with knives. Or emotionally unstable adults. Or people who are dumb enough to slice towards themselves. So I've pulled three chases for people that, I don't know, didn't hear me or weren't watching. Finally a new rare, trick shot. One I was hoping for. Possibly meta competitive, just because he's barely over 100 points. Uh, although with the... With the nerfing of Bill, I don't see it as common, especially with Bullseye out of the format. I'm more, he's in the format, but no one's actually using him. I need to add people via Google+. Plus. Okay. Uh, hmm. Gotta hit Google. I have alerts. Okay. Okay. Add. Um, sure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate this stuff so much. If I could just use OBS, I'd do that and just do this on Twitch. Makes it so much easier. Invite people. Hey, hey Ron. A lot of Aaron Cantus. Like a shitload of Aaron Cantus. Fucking hell. <sighs> Alright, I invited one person. Uh, I have two viewers. And they're probably both the people I'm trying to invite to the stream. Kind of limits the point. Third manifold. Gonna have a lot of trade bait. Okay, finally someone's in here. Computers. Yeah, I know. They're fun. Another master pandemonium. Yay, and a... Jarvis card for like the three Jarvises I've pulled. That's a rare card, right? Yes. Uh, I don't. I I didn't check out the. The only thing I think is higher than that is the uh, Rick Jones. Why would you ever even use that card though? He doesn't. You well, I mean, him. 
Well, I mean, you could always, like, I don't see actually using his card except in if you don't actually want him on your team to start with and you use the uh, resource because you can bring him in, you can swap him in right at the beginning of the game. Yeah, but his trait isn't compatible with the resource apparently, so it doesn't really... It doesn't work if you swap him in that way? No, you still pay the points. Plus, by that point, your team's already done, so it's like, doesn't accomplish anything? Well, I mean, you still, would you be able to bring the pog still? I is what I'm wondering. Don't because I didn't. I, I thought it like brings like it like, triggers the beginning of the game. Uh, the pog. You mean Rick Jones pogs? Yeah, or like if pogs you, in general. Well, because those you, pogs specifically say can't be replaced. Well, I know that. I meant if you if you use the uh, the round tables ability to Plus, swap. Doesn't that require? I'm pretty sure that requires the characters being equal or lower points than what you're getting, because that would be broken otherwise. Right. You'd have to you'd have to have someone 75 points or above that you're swapping out. But I'm saying yeah. if you wanted if you didn't want to have, I mean, you could imagine having. I, I would just have Rick Jones on my team regardless. I don't. Yeah. But as far as Jarvis goes, I don't see a point oh, to the card. No, Jarvis, I think is pretty much garbage. I mean, unless the people, but the card is still expensive, even though it, it's stupid to play, especially because you can't have more than one unique, even if he's on your sideline. Yeah, I was wondering. I I tried asking Wiz Kids with like I tried going on their fucking rules thing and. Ugh. Yeah, it was a hard, like, oh, we denied your question because you need to quote every t- special rule you're using, or, and we won't even consider the question. So, it's like, yeah. All right, I'm not going to go through the problem of quoting every single ability I'm using. <sighs> Whiz kids. Because I know I, I, was, I was talking about it. I mentioned in a chat. I was talking about it today with some of my teammates. And I think Alex brought it up because he was he had. He'd worked on like a mystical team with Brother Voodoo and White Witch, and we I think we asked about it before. Uh, another three D man, so that's up to three. Three three D mans. Yeah, he's he. I think he can be. He'll be stellar because I what I didn't realize that him and Triathlon have the same real name. So, could be hard. Yeah, I'd rather play him on the team though and give him Proselyte for plus one damage and super strength for plus his attack all the way. So he's fourteen and six. Yeah, the, the, it's just like so many of my teams already have a prime on it. It's just like he's competing with yeah. a lot of other guys. But then you can't have the two primes, one on your sideline anyways. I know that because yeah. they ruled that, but the ruling was they said the reason was because fuck you because we said so. Well, that's Wiz, that's Wizkid's most of the time. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't sure like what they were going to do because I was talking to some of the X rules got X guys who worked on the rules and they weren't entirely certain the whole ma- using a mass resource with, um, all right. Aaron says he's in here, but I can't find his name to bring him into the chat. I have no idea how this works. Well, I have to like add people on Google plus. It's just but like, I think add you have to, like have him first. So you know who he is. Well, he- well, not necessarily because be I could find a public name. It's just like there's a millionaire in Cantus. Although he should, find- but he commented on your YouTube stream, so you should be able to find his YouTube from there. Oh. Thus, his Google Plus. Okay, let me use that. Other makes any then. sense? Yeah, yeah. I, get I can saying. see if I can try and add him. I should have. I did open it to the public. Yeah. Overall, like. Even this set seems like I was saying before, which apparently people can't. Feel, it was this set feels a lot like Teen Titans in terms of like overall a lot of low attack values. So limited. If if this is the if this is the set they choose for limited at Team Sealed at Worlds, like there will be a lot of one sided fights. Yeah, I can't find his Google Plus name. Let me see. His YouTube on Google Plus either. I don't. I have no fucking clue. I know Jason does this for when we do stuff. I don't do any tech stuff. There we go. Just don't know. There's a lot of Avengers on assembled stuff. And there's mine. Oh, wait. I think... No, I think this is... Yeah. I can hear me. I can hear, like, slights. I don't know what the fuck is up with my... On board. I'm just seeing if they have... No idea how to add people. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I just don't have that control or ability. Um. Let's see. Computers are dumb. The rugged dookie. Is that him? Yeah. Okay, I can find him that way. (laughs) 
Oh, there he is. Okay. Invitation sent. Let's see if it actually works. Let me close this. I don't want to be viewing myself. While I'm viewing myself, empty box. Uh, so how much? How much? How much stuff have you gone through? Um, I'm on my fifth brick because I still haven't pulled a Rick Jones, so I decided to open up the third case. Because I bought but, it anyways, but my friends couldn't afford it because they just came ran into financial difficulties. So it's already paid for on my account. You can't come on camera. Okay. They can just. It's fine if he just does voice. Uh, fuck. Yeah, my Great. case was a bit disappointing. The first. Well, uh, what what did you pull? What chase did you pull? Well, because the case that we got uh, ended up being a Ragnarok, and okay. uh, he says let he's gonna see if his son is asleep. Um, okay, that's so fine. So Chase was the Hulk. Who's okay. Awesome. I mean, I mean, he's, he's not big and dumb like most of the chases. He's not meta in the slightest, but I think no. he's probably one of the best three hundred ish point characters. Like one on one, I think he could beat pretty much anything or entire teams besides that other Hulk, just because more stop clicks. But this right. guy's just, his combat values just put him over the top of just a lot of things because he like only has a ten at the ten and three at the absolute worst, and it's just yeah. Um, I just think with especially with uh, Kenny winning both nationals with his Gloop team. Like I don't think one man armies like no no this guy wasn't no because his his point value is that you can play are one hundred and one fifty three hundred one fifty one fifty is not good right so no but There's yeah too so many we better one fifty points yeah we got uh, mockingbird card manifold card black widow nova and hawkeye cards srs were uh, the sr prime uh, miss marvel. The Hood, I'm the Mortis, Cap, and Iron Man. I just pulled Iron Man. Awesome. Um, I think I have the tr so I have the Trinity now. I'm yeah. still missing Red Hood. Uh, pulled Common and Uncommon Prime. It's so, it's so dumb that they didn't that the that the Avengers Prime in this iteration add up to 620. I don't like. Yeah, I, I don't. They made it so that, simple with the the fucking DC uh, Trinity. I don't know why they decided to fuck it up. It's really unnerving. Uh, card wise, I pulled. I I don't like the fact they decided to give us ID cards for people we don't have modern versions of. Well, we'll get them. I know. Hopefully. Yeah, like. Mockingbird, I'm pretty sure, is a shoe in for at least. I don't know if yeah. she's a shoe in for uh, Age of Ultron, but she's a shoe in for Nick Fury for sure. Yeah. If it's Agents of Shield. Yeah. Um, Fuck. Hercules, I don't. I didn't read Age of Ultron, so I don't know who actually appears in that one. Um, but I mean, I guess Hercules could be in either. They'll probably find a way to shoehorn him in. Yeah. Mm. There's cat. a lot of like confirmed cards of characters that are probably going to be in it, like Luke Cage. Was an Age of oh, Ultron, yeah. so we should be getting one of him. Yeah, I got ended up getting two Mockingbird cards with uh, some extra packs, so it was really doubly annoying that I don't have a friggin' nobody wants it, and then the figure doesn't even exist. Right. Yeah. Uh, another Sandman. Sandman be Sandman's an interesting one. Like I don't know if like I guess He's, utilizing for his yeah. trait if you bring him in via the card. Got another Cersei card. I don't know. I don't know if that's even a thing. Can you take him off the map? He had. No, they have to be within five squares of the character that brings them in. So it doesn't work. Also, if they're removed from the map by another game effect, they go back to your sideline. So none of that works. Right. He is. I will. I'm happy to see any Avenger that has poison now because you can do some of them poison. Right. We haven't like. And I'm sure. How like, many Avengers with poison? Yeah, I think like in the main leadership one will be Cap, and I don't think we're getting a Cap card until I think Cap's it's one of the Age of Ultron participation. Yeah, yeah. yeah my sealed the... team ended up being Cap at one fifty in Sandman. It did okay, but I lost to fucking Arcade. Oh, did he get map roll? Unfortunately, yeah, that's it's a really 
dumb mechanic. Like it's weird because you either basically waste your points if you don't get the map roll, or you get it and then the figure's stupidly overpowered. Right. That's what I was like. I don't. I don't. I guess I don't know if he was just being sarcastic or what when Jake was just like, "Ah, oh, I guess theme doesn't matter anymore." I'm like, Jake, this guy isn't good enough for modern. I mean, no. theme will still all. matter in constructed. Arcade's not going to rock fun. the meta game. He could be fun with like out of the meta with like parallax entity on him, and then playing with like Kyle Parallax. So you're getting something good out of your map roll. Yeah, I'd have to check to see what his click number is. Like finding a it's actually a good click number for Parallax because it's seven. So you can start off on the no willpower power. Yeah, one of his good special That's powers. Not, that doesn't apply for the. Uh, well, I guess if you don't play him with that parallax. ESR, yeah, because that's above 300 for all that. Um, but it could be good. But otherwise, like, yeah, waste of points. And there's no real way to guarantee your map roll. So. Did I seriously pull two Immortuses in the same brick? That'd be really weird. No. That's, I don't know. I'm, no. I might be losing it. My booze might be getting yeah. to me, whatever. You pulled so um, many. Yeah, my brick had like three really crappy, cheap SRs. Like. I've pulled Nobody two. Wants any of them? Pulled uh, well, at least out of these six bricks, I've pulled three caps, one Iron Man, one Thor, two Ronin so far. Uh, That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Um, most of these SRs are just really forgetful. <sighs> yeah, like some of them are more fun than others, but like meta-wise, there's not much going on. Yeah, I might have to trade. Even Ragnarok isn't even worth considering. Yeah. So, I guess, is that all of my boosters? That's unfortunate. Yeah. I really wanted Rick Jones more than anything. But I'm yeah, sure I could trade beautiful. one of these fucking chases for it and something else. King what are your chases now? Uh, King Thor, Iron Man, and uh, Black Widow. thought it was one per brick. No, it's like one point five. So many conflicting reports. It's stupid. No, it's it's like one point. It's like yeah, I think it's actually Widow. is closer to one to one to case. That Black Widow's okay, but her she just drops off too quick. Yeah, her powers just become really mediocre. Yeah, some of these like, cards, I don't see. I don't imagine it's ever a really getting... fun set, but like I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I'm not really seeing much happening in this set meta wise. Nope. I see I see Rick Jones, I see Triathlon slash three D man. Because Triathlon's still very cheap and you still have an eleven attack for like sixty something points, I think. Maybe he's eighty something. Um either are no, he's sixty. So yeah, Triathlon to... himself is sixty, three D man is ninety. Yeah, so Triathlon isn't bad either. Yeah. Pulling a in would be really easy for five points with an eleven attack and three damage. Yeah. Um, I don't Jarvis think he's worked with the resource. It would be neat. Yeah. Um, let's see, could they KO him? In? Uh, they'd have to deal six damage to KO a triathlon. I mean, and if they're going after triathlon, I could care less about giving them sixty yeah. points. Manifold. Uh, I I do see. I could see Miss Marvel because she's a very cheap attacker. With like, if you just have something to boost her up, which is getting harder and harder since we won't have the Book of Skulls for too long. Well, it'll be at Worlds. That's yeah. Something. That's nice. But people are going to be doing. They better be doing something about the Book of Skulls, considering that it's there. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just so really concerned. surprised that like it's like everybody's afraid of the green battery, but then nobody plays it. But then like. <laughs> it shows up just enough to beat pe beat teams that are really weak to it, but it doesn't actually end up winning. Yeah, it's like it, it makes the zombie bases have to think twice about running yeah. into it because any team base against the green battery just dies. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just it, you can't use flurry or anything nice with super scroll. No. Uh, yeah, actually, I played. Um, I was playing a super scroll against the green battery and I almost won but I'm an idiot and I basically was winning on points two minutes left and I picked powers and I killed myself so yeah I played against the Jenny Sparks Tomar 2 Ion on her team and I was close 
Yeah, Jenny Sparks, she was, is, yeah. she's definitely going to make a bigger... She's going to start appearing more and more. Although, from what I hear, Kenny ran into one. I, I'm just going to, I guess, put on the player. Or, or Kenny just got better dice rolls or something. Since it seems like Jenny... I think he played against the other run of version, other version of that team, which was Jenny Ion, the recruit, and um, Abin Sir, which I think was we- much, which was just way weaker. Because my teammate made one, it wasn't theme, uh, which sucks. Because at nationals, he was like he was second out to make top thirty-two. Yeah, which I think is just so stupid using a sealed format to qualify for a. Yeah, at least it was fifty-fifty for our nationals. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's just a lot of crazy stuff in Trinity War. Like my first battle royale, I pulled him. I pulled him, and I was like, "Well, I've won." Well, I like, know my buddy, my teammate Drake. He pulled. Or I, I'm. I. I don't know what he qualified on. I don't think he responded to me on that. But I know he pulled for one of his seals was Martian Manhunter. Which, yeah, he did. Uh, he actually beat me in the last qualifier with like. It was like. Uh, Argus Agent, because it was Guardians of the Galaxy and Flash. It was like Argus Agent, the dude from Guardians of the Galaxy who rolls to get tokens to get Outwit and Prob. Oh, uh, and, like, Starhawk. Else. Yeah, Starhawk, the Argus Agent, something else. And he barely beat me at the last qualifiers. But then the first one, yeah, I think he had a Manhunter and he somehow lost. I can't remember. Well, I, got, lost I had one in mine in my first qualifier pulled Manhunter, but I just ran into a team. First, I. I First round, I only won on points because the guy pulled a sloth relic and healed his uh, Therok back to full. Oh, and got God. one hit on my guy for like five damage, so it knocked me to my 100 point value. So I just had to run away for the remainder. Yeah. Um, but he didn't hold it against me. It's a guy on Kenny's that's uh, Abdul from Kenny's team. And he's like, Yeah, I would have done the same thing because I hate running away, but I got to win. Yeah. And last round was 100 points, Lex Luthor. Chameleon Girl and Vibe. Wow. So that's a combination brutal. of poison. Yeah, it was really a pain in the ass. I really... Yeah, just I like Martian Manager's power combos are good, but I just don't like the naked defense. Yeah, if it, like poison gets right through and it's like up oh, and it knocks him off his best. Like yeah, it was it was bad. Um so yeah, I guess yeah. good. Yeah, I had fun at my first sealed. I pulled, I pulled, I pulled a Jenny, Wrath Relic, uh, XS, and oh, XS. Vixen. That was fun. She's so underrated. She's yeah. I mean, the fact she can like th- the stupid carry and hypersonic and yeah. I would love to play her with uh, Legion Lost ATA to give her the Green Lantern team ability. That would just be stupid. That's someone I I could see. Uh... Manifold, someone I can see in the meta possibly, if uh, as a slight, he's slightly better than Gates, and you can push him on a prob. I like Gates more. I mean, they do different things, and like Gates has better defenses, pushes for Plex, is a wild card versus Manifold, and also Gates can carry anybody regardless of keywords, whereas Manifold requires keywords. Yeah, that's that's the which is easier thing. to do with with the entities and batteries. So that's po- more possible, but. I don't know. They're they're different. Just like, also like he his card is basically useless because why would you use him? Because you can't use carry. There's no reason to use him as a thing unless you want to get a TK. Yeah, or if you need the barrier, I guess. <sighs> yeah. I think like we'll see as once we get like that resource. I think it'll make more of a difference. I I imagine just they're, people they, like, like they're not. They're not making the cards and especially the rare ones useless. Like there has to be some reason. Yeah, Jarvis. Because I mean, Jarvis seems I never play him on his own. I'd have to play him with his card. And he, his card just doesn't seem. I mean, all right, an indoor map. I guess if I have no way to see through stealth, and that's really what's keeping my I team think down. He's, well, yeah, because well, unless you're not using the ID card resource, and then you can get the free three cards for free, and he's very cheap or plex, potentially hard to kill and stuff. Yeah, because do they have they made a ruling whether or not if you get three cards for free if that works in conjunction with the resource? Uh, I talked to Amber about it and she seemed to think it wouldn't work, and I can see why because it's like Probably. a different thing. I don't think anybody's asked on rule swarm yet, but it's even if they like you can't even trust what they say. Yeah, they I mean, make yeah they make it up as they go along. All the good rules, guys, I know don't really work there anymore, and. 
when they, they fired a lot of people. Apparently, a lot of people just and a lot of people talking to a lot of them just like they didn't want the job of rules arbiter. There's it's it's a it cluster. Was, was it a paid function. position? I don't know if it's paid, but it just sounds like it's a mess and. Well, like, it has to be paid because otherwise, that's a lot of time and whatever for people to be doing it just for free. Yeah, but wizards is ch- or whisk whiz- kids is cheap, and like it just sounds like there's like there's a big disconnect with the company, and it's like if they bring something up, whether or not whiz kids listens to it, it's like really iffy. Yeah, it's just they don't seem to. They're, I mean, they are still business, but it's like you don't have to be a business and not care about what you're doing. But that's apparently how they are. Yeah, it's. I mean, I understand why they went. This company's like gone under twice. So they're I'm, doing good, unless there's something behind the scenes that's not. Yeah, it's uh, for now. It appears they're doing fine. Uh, I'm trying to wonder what I'm missing in terms of super rares now. It can't be too many. This is a cracked up in so many fucking. Well, the list is what's the list. I mean, don't check realms because they obviously haven't updated it yet. Well, I'm I'm on the dial from there. Uh, there's Cap. I also Abbott. love that Cap, Iron Man, and Thor are in consecutive numbers. Like that's just like oh, that's really annoying. Yeah. So there's Cap, Iron Man, Red Wolf, yep. Ronin, yep. Thor, yep. Ragnarok. No. Night Mask, Miss yes. Marvel. Yes. Ex Nihilo. Yes. Hood. No, that's Mortis. Yep. Korvac. Yep. And Red Skull. Yep. So I'm only missing the Prime and uh, Red Hood, which who is just crap. So unless you're a completionist. Yeah, I was like, I can imagine playing him cheap and just. Or are you talking like about? Are you talking about Ragnarok or Hood? Hood. Okay. No, Ragnarok is good. Not in meta, but he's good. Um, I de- like. I can imagine Hood th- throwing like a hammer on him or something. He's cheap enough, and he's got. I mean, he starts off having precision strike. I think is really good, especially while only while we still have the hammers because he needs an attack boost. Yeah. But after that, it's like it's so. At, the, the losing point, the- though, like you can get better attackers. Yeah, for sixty points. He hasn't for seventy points. He doesn't do anything that for somebody 70, else yeah. can't do better. Uh, I know there's a talk about Black Swan. I just don't think I see that combo ever happening. Well, they ruled today that the white battery doesn't work for it, so it's not possible to plan. Never mind then. She's garbage. And PF and like her effect is so crazy that everybody who is gonna know what she does, you're gonna know how much to hit her for. Right. It it's just not viable in the slightest, unless there's something beyond the white battery that guarantees that you'll not get killed. Like Yeah, no uh well, no. All the other things is like I was thinking the gem, but the gem heals you. Yeah, yeah. so it doesn't work either. Yeah. Plus, that the gem would not wouldn't work in the same way that the battery doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, the <sighs> yeah, it's a stupid effect though. I I think that's why they made her like that. That it's like extremely situational. And plus, even if the battery did work, like everybody would just know about her and then just double tap her because she only has like a sixteen at that point. Yeah, if you really can't just... double tap a sixteen. Your team has more problems than. Her. Yeah, you have to somehow get her surrounded. Yeah, you, like you'd have to like make sure you get enough. You get her in the right position and bury around her with the battery. Yeah, and that's just a lot of situations. Like, yeah, just turns into like the team that Jake was talking about with just stealing some stealing something with Lydia Malore and playing on the moon and barriering. But now we have so many people that can shoot through elevated and whatnot. Just. Yeah, but then you're just going to get to the point where you're going to lose map roll once, and then you're done. Yep. Or, like I said, you run into like the one team that just can shoot through anything you put up there, and you're well, screwed. There is that green arrow, so... Yeah, the one I have six of somewhere on my fucking desk. Wow. Yeah. I, once I, once Justino got up. second with him. Right, yeah. I bought all the places I found had him. 
most of them had them pretty cheap. No more than I didn't pay more than six for any well, of them. It's only gravity feed. It's flat rarity. You can't really expect that much. I don't know, but yeah, you could. Yeah, but like once, once, once they once they're noticed though, most people like either gravity feed's been bought up or uh, shit, or uh, just people like have to go out and now buy gravity feed. So it's like I they might end up paying picked, more. I think Aaron picked a bunch up when that happened, but like. It was like, how do these figures show up and then nobody realizes how good they are? Like, he's obviously good. Oh, I just I ignore gravity feeds in general. Yeah. Um. So I, I kind I of. That, you can't really ignore anything because, like. I don't Did know, we? I, I was surprised. We guess I guess we didn't get a gravity feed for this set. No, they're done with the main set gravity feeds. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, I was I was looking at it because I ordered these through a friend's store because he gave me a deal on them. Like yeah. I bought all six of these for about five hundred. Yeah, um, seems good. Yeah, it was about like eighty-five yeah. a brick. Just because still he needs to get his numbers up. Uh, yeah, mini. What? Are you mean? Sets, but like, no, no more gravity feeds. So like movie sets and the occasional random like Days of Futures Past or something. Basically. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't think we're going to see one for Ant-Man just because I don't see how they can make an entire... There's not enough characters in that movie to make a gravity feed. Plus, they would have announced it by now. Yeah, that... Yeah, well, they don't always out. do it either. Like, they didn't do one for, like... They only started at Avengers, and I'm pretty sure they missed a movie in there. Did they? Uh, well, they they started the they started the ones that are like the ones now with Iron Man 3. And right. I think... Because Iron, we've had Iron Man 3, Dark World, Winter Soldier... Uh, Age of Ultron. I think we did. Oh, they did have. A... Well, they were also they also did like Green Lantern movie for like some reason. Yeah, yeah but that they, was yeah. that was that was before they did the. Um, it wasn't that. This was like Iron Man three started the uh, like the target. Uh, no, like Avengers had target too. Well, it wasn't the same layout though, because that one like. The hobby shop had like the the team packs. It wasn't right. like it wasn't like it is now, where there's like eight commons and then four rares and a chase, four rares and a chase. Right. That, that all started with Iron Man three, but yeah. and then it's gone since then in that format. And we're not going to change, obviously, at this point. No. It's a you'd think for like the Avengers movie they would do a bigger set. Yes, I I expect that something similar to like the last Avenger, like the last Avengers movie, they kind of took all these other. I guess because they did, they didn't they do the, like covered, they covered everything except for like there was something from every movie in there except for like Iron Man and Hulk. Yeah, it was like Thor. Yeah, it was like and, Thor, Captain America, and then just the characters from Avengers. Basically, they they had like. Supporting characters from like they have like the uh, Howling Commandos and what, yep. whatnot. Howling Commandos, like Frost Giants. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty crappy set, though. Yeah, I pretty. Much, I mean, I played I, like for one of the months of Infinity Gauntlet, I played a Hydra team with the Chase Red Skull. Basically, the only figures I've wrote in that set were like the uh, Hydra technicians or whatever. The Hydra Technicians, uh, but like Hydra, yeah. Hulk and uh, Phil Coulson. Oh, right. Target Hulk. I forgot about him. Yeah, Target Hulk, Phil Coulson, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This set, uh, I need to check. I have an order for Troll and Toad. I need to ship out. I need to see if they're already buying shit from this set because I'll have a lot to sell back to them. I can't get rid of any of my extras that I don't want. Like, I have basically, I want to sell most of my SRs, but I haven't been able to do that. Nobody wants, wants any this set. They just want the chases. They just want tons of the chases. A uh, few people want some of the super rares, but not many. They want like Miss Marvel. I have many, I Red. had only one person who wanted Miss Marvel, who had anything to offer, and then I got. Oh. Yeah, they got, already got a trade before me, so so I was gonna trade for Red Wolf because I think he's nuts. Yeah, I want to see him. Like, I I'm planning at least uh, some testing session. I want to test him with Alyosha. Um, because like eight damage on his own, and then pops off the Loba, the the Pog for a potential blades of whatever. Oh, Ooh, this nuts. sucks. I'm look, I'm looking at one of my Lobos. It's really it's yeah. I guess you gotta be careful. It scrapes on the paint. Ah, uh, 
So you got to be careful because the yeah, it's scraping through his attack and his combat reflexes. Wait, the actual po- the actual dude has a uh, stats on him. I thought he was like too tiny for that. No, it's painted. Uh, it's like a they haven't painted on just like a uh, toy. Uh huh. So yeah, but, I like figures that have figures that attach them. They're all they're pretty cool. Yeah, well, I, I was a... thinking. Well, I was thinking about it. Like, I know you can't. Wouldn't if you're playing him in no tactics. I know you couldn't pop off the pog. But could you start off with the thing attached to get the flurry? Uh, I don't know. I don't see why not. But it's like maybe one of those weird ones. Yeah, because this. Yeah, it's it's it's. I don't know. I that's why I hate no tactics so much. Yeah, it's just. I think arbitrary. one was weird. I got a hybrid with no dial or no, nothing printed on it. I saw somebody t- got said today that they uh, got an absorb man from Iron Man with that. The uh, not the main set one, thankfully. Yeah, it was just. That's stupid. It's only yeah, it a rare, just... right? So, like, what can you? do? Yeah, I have to... another one. It's just going to be like I don't know. I'll throw it in a trade box to see if someone wants if, wants some. And plus, like, it's not like you're going to send that in for replacement because shipping and co- would cost more than it'd be worth. Yeah, it's like a not even. It's a rare, so it's it might be a dollar now, but it won't be a dollar in a week. Yeah, yeah. SRS wise, like Ronan's good, but he's not meta. Like nothing his, really meta. It's just him having toughness. Like eighteen defense is fine, but toughness, it's just not. It's not enough. Like I was looking at Red Wolf versus him. Like the only thing that Ronan has over Red Wolf is like stats. Like a bit higher stats and stealth, but you can just put a belt on this guy or an entity plus a battery, and he's still cheaper. Yeah, he's because, yeah, Ronan's 109. Yeah, you can put an entity and you're still four points cheaper. And if you're going to have a like, battery, you're or just a belt. Battery. Yeah, for like the, the, the brief moment, we still have it, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. This is probably the biggest like pool of stuff in the meadow we've ever had. Yeah, we have so many resources, so many figures. I yeah. mean, now I'm I'm pretty sure if, like it's conf- pretty much confirmed we're not going to have Wolverine and the X Men anymore. I thought we might keep it if they rotated before Worlds, but now that it's after, I'm pretty sure it's just it's gone. Yeah, no more no more Wolverine after Worlds this year. It's annoying because then you lose a bunch of cool figures like the P fives and. Shatterstar's gone. Spiral's gone. Well, Spiral was never. Well, now. Yeah, Spiral was nerfed. Yeah, she was She's nerfed well before she, she got stupid. I think they, Although yeah. she was, she was legal for a Dragon Con, and no one actually. I didn't see anything. Someone, She's so too no one expensive. played her. Then. Yeah, you didn't have a enough thirty points build to just to let that happen. Like you're better off just because the meta at that time was still Ghost Rider. You were just better off just Ghost Rider could cross him up on his own. Didn't really matter. And that Dragon Con was won by I can't remember who won it, but I know it was won by uh like New Mutants and uh Shatterstar with a belt. Was it? Interesting. Uh, it was or it was it was, it was a team base, which I'm pretty sure was Stat- Shatterstar on the belt, and then a po- they took off one member and they put on a pog and the uh, bat signal, I wanna say. Interesting. Some team had a some team had a bat signal and a pog. Well, because yeah, like, you would probably want to do that since no resource on the base right yeah. we'll lose hope summers too that's unfortunate yep then sh- i don't s- she didn't have too much on construct or on a modern but ta- no tactics she was yeah she definitely shined um, actually really i did see much, someone play her in a someone player at us nats I really her, i th- think so i thought mm-hmm. i saw someone playing her at us nats there was a lot of interesting teams Although there was a lot, I, I I hope people really go overboard with the fucking zombies. There was like four or five people playing them in the top thirty-two. That's commitment because that's an expensive ass team to run. Well, I mean, it, thanks to that, Alex was the only one on our team who qualified because he won the North Carolina Open. And, oh, but, real? Oh, cool. Yeah. So and I, yeah, we two his people. His team out. was like cool, but like I don't. It, it, it was all awesome figures, but like, I I didn't see it. It, it placed like what top four? Yeah, he lost the zombie team base and I, ended up making the finals. Uh, that's yeah. Actually, 
He I mean he can yeah. do a lot of damage because he was presumably putting the Scotty hammer on the uh, pog. So you can potentially be attacking uh, twice with that thing. So that's two exploit blades of twelve attack can actually do a lot of damage. It was just I think like he hit a, like the guy hit a lot of his rollouts, like tons of his rollouts. Yeah, it was what it was Lydia question Alyosha and some uh, in the book. Al- Alyosha full book and split lip. Uh, yeah, pretty decent. Yep, uh, I just made a variant that just cut the question and threw in a. Well, the question white is rabbit. Nuts. I threw in white rabbit and Scotty's warbot. In interesting. In, in, yeah, because there's a lot of stupid stuff you can do with the book and white rabbit. Yeah. So much stuff. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. My product. I'm just afraid of the scoring issue with her. You can just give away points and then. Yeah. I'm more worried about like the, the reason Alex Alex was like top he was top seeded when he went into top 30 or he went into top 16 because his first round he scored like 645 points I think off of oh, wow. just a zombie team based first round of top 32 Swiss then he played Ross I can't remember what Ross was running but it just didn't matter like he just had he already had so many points he was building the night before I was talking about like three oh three a.m. my time, whatever. I don't know what time it was there, but it was not. No. I just know he's running like uh, the only things I saw was I think it was like a green battery prime Captain Marvel. I didn't see anything else because they wouldn't let us go back there at the time. Yeah, so we couldn't watch. I can't, I can't remember. She was weird at, at Canadian Nats. There was like nobody watching the match. It was like basically me, one of my teammates, and then another local of mine. But like nobody was watching there. Oh, they wouldn't even let they wouldn't let us pe- pass a certain point, or at least while they were still in top thirty-two. Well, I guess. Well, the difference was this is like a store, and there was other stuff happening as well as the fact that it was just like tiny. Yeah, we were pr- like, it was somewhat crowded, but I mean, it's slowly. I just honestly like with the fact that we pretty much got nothing there. I wish I just did the zombie event because there was so much value in that. I should have just done all battle royales. Yeah, I should have done battle royals in the zombie event. Because I mean, if you won the zombie event, you first place got a fucking. But then they did that whole screw up. So yeah, that's that's annoying. Um, I mean, I I leave it up to I don't know Norm too well, but I'm sure he got something worked out. Um, I hope so. Just it kind of like annoying because a- like you know that the better cons are going to be released at Worlds. So oh yeah, I don't. Th- th- I didn't want. I, I guess I kind of wanted Animal Man, but not not a whole lot. The three I really want, like, are the ones that are coming out at Worlds. I want those are the two Marvels I really want. Spider Ham looks fun, or it looks like people want him because he's cool, but I'll never play him. He's, he's okay. He's one point under using Ultra Heavies. His stats aren't good enough. I look for the hundred point value. He and looks he looks cool and he's fun, but like. He can be good, be good with Alyosha and like a book, but like, nah. Yeah, but they still like a hundred points for an animal piece, and so I'd just rather run like fucking Red Wolf here at this point. Oh yeah, for sure. I was talking to a friend who was like, he was saying how you didn't like him. I'm like, how could you not? Like it's the sheer damage potential. Yeah, exactly. He's. I mean, like, you won't, you, won't, you won't get the I, awesomeness of Alyosha, but you'll like he could easily like Red Wolf could easily be the next Alyosha in terms of. Or you, you could play them together still, and then. Well, for now, I meant I meant after retirement. Oh yeah, be seen as the next Alyosha, because yeah. Alyosha is how many points? Uh, Seventy. So yeah, I mean he's ten points more expensive, but his his starting he's overall like kind of he starts off better than Alyosha does in my opinion. Yeah. The only thing he's missing that he could really use is stealth, but then that's yeah. easy to give. Yeah, it's easy. You know, like right now, it's pretty easy to get. I mean. The bell for now, but I'm sure like stealth's never well, been too hard to get. I'm sure I, I would be surprised if a fucking card gives someone stealth. Well, all the car, the main set cards so far have all been like just straight up stat bonuses. The con ones were more funky, like the steel. There was the steel energy for Ares, precision strike for for Shang Chi, and ignoring hindering for line of fire and whatever for Daredevil. Movement. Yeah, and leap climb. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I hope they make a good decision. I get rid of the other Con Ellie ones because I don't trust WizKids when it comes to that shit. Wait, get rid of um, what? There's well, the, well, there's five. There's five Ellie cards. They don't know how they're going to get rid of yet. 
Because uh-huh. there's there's 11 LE cards total. We get three at Nationals. We get three at Worlds. And then there's five left over. And talk, I talk... Uh, I talked with That's Scott August. Yeah, I talked with Scott Augustino at Nats, and he was like, "Yeah, we haven't decided how we're getting rid of those yet," which gives me like a like I always feel as a fifty fifty chance that we'll never see them. Like, oh, so they'll be like word balloons that never are, got yeah. Released. Have the word balloon like? Do they just not happen? Are they not happening at all now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I've just heard tons of stuff that like there's a lot of stuff that got stuck in development limbo. Like, there's a lot of like there word balloons. Like... There was a lot of stuff they just never released and just. Never got around to leasing. It's never going to happen. That's so... What? That's so dumb. They just... None of, that doesn't, a lot of those things are not hard to balance or even make. Like, yeah, it's so lazy. It's, yeah. it's with, like I only think we got the car... Like, I only think we got the ID cards like out right away just because they probably were able to get those made in the States because they're just fucking credit cards effectively. So that's that. That's the only reason I think we got those things made on time. Because it sounds like all the plastic where they get everything else made is like in Europe. Because that's the reason. That was China. I, like, because I I always heard I heard Europe just for the fact because a lot of stuff like never got released late there, but it always got released late in the states. Hmm. Or maybe because they don't have to ship, they can I don't know sh- ship by land and, from China to. Europe that they get them early because I heard Europe was getting pre-releases too, and we're just gonna get start getting those now. When are they starting that with like Nick Fury? I didn't hear when they're starting it. I just heard it's gonna be a replacement for WizKids Opens this year. They're they're stopping the WizKids Opens series, and they're just gonna continue with uh, pre-releases, which is much better value for them. Like the WizKids Opens were very fun; they're cool. But they were only for competitive players. I just uh, we have nothing in my country. It's ridiculous. The only reason that we have Canadian nationals is because that one store basically asked to do, it and they did like all the work. Yeah, and it sounds like they had like they had to do all that other stuff. Like they were streaming it, and they just like pretty much Whiskits got a bunch of free publicity out of them. I don't think like any Whiskits employees were there. Oh, I doubt they were. I don't think they'd fly up from New Jersey there, but I think <laughs> they could so far. They just like, cause apparently like listening to the guy streaming it, they were like, they had to like put up certain logos and shit as an agreement. And I'm guessing that was through WizKids. Oh, WizKids, you're so lazy. So I guess I'm going to try and just go on. I'm going to post on all these things, seeing if someone wants one of these chases in lieu of Rick Jones. Yeah. So I want a Rick Jones. Yeah. And right I, now I have I have a Hulk. I just traded for the cap. And then my friend has Black Widow, who's like, play for fun. But like, the Iron Man is so bad also. Yeah, he's... Yeah, like, I. I was I, first of all, I just for that many points, I the fa- even like like yeah, his willpower like on on his base, but I'm like he should just be Indom, like for 270 he should just have Indom. Yeah, there's a point value, and once you cross that, if you don't have Indom, there's someone's doing his, something wrong. His combat value is just mediocre, though. Yeah, for an eight, he's no, too move he's, attack top dial. Like there's no room to give him a resource or whatever, like barely any room for a resource. Yeah. And you, you get more room at a 250 point Superman and 250 point Superman's a lot better. Yeah. Like his, his, his damage reduction is solid, but like that's not an excuse. The values. Nope. He's the one. I'll probably see if someone wants, if someone has Rick Jones and yeah. they want an Iron Man. I'll, I'll do that in a heartbeat. Cause I see Rick Jones just being like uh, the Liddy of this set. She'll start off medium, he's like medium really value, solid. but he'll go wait. Like after this all dies down, he'll go. He'll be the top. Yeah, the yeah the triple target mind control with potential twelve attack. Yeah, that's just nuts. He's just like, he's having eleven attack, seventy five points, already good. Ten 70, range, like yeah, ten range triple targets, like that's unheard of for anything less than hundred points. Yeah, like. He can do scary things if you give him the right stuff. The double but power also, he looks, is he looks amazing in person. Yeah, I, I want to make custom. I might just find some old. 
or make some custom uh, pogs for him, or actual 3D models for his guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Captain America is a reskull from AVX. Probably. Like, you could get a name with the name war with the same costume you could get from uh, Galactic Guardians. I don't even know if he ever had a Blazing Skull. No, I don't think so, but. What's his name from this set? Metal looks close enough because he's got like that weird skull thing. So I'll just. I well, yeah, that. there's that whole joke that he's a. He, has, he looks like. Oh, we actually did get one. Yeah, huh. probably. In Avengers, yeah. Oh, okay. So. The, the first one. Actually, not terrible for the time. Yeah, Carter, they were starting to balance things out, so it wasn't as bad. Yeah. I still don't really excuse him for that terrible job that Taskmaster was from that set. Oh, I love Taskmaster, but like, no. The first, the original we, was great. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a new one of him. Uh, I would imagine that'd be uh, in Nick like, Fury 2, because he was... Uh, Deadpool would have been a good opportunity. Yeah, I... Like, yeah. he was pretty good at, from when he came out in Chaos Wars. He was pretty good, but, like, not these days. He was good. I don't think he seemed the meta just because he was probably a little bit overcosted, even at the yeah. time. He was extremely fun and can do some nasty things, but, like, no, it was never meta. He was my... I mean, he was my... He's... I only have three pieces still from that set. I've already... I only... I sell most of my shit back once it's coming close to not being meta. Like I have a yeah. bag of most of my fear. I have a bag of my extra fear itself stuff. I'm selling. Yeah. Because uh, Troll and Toads bu started buying. They just started buying that figures of that, and they haven't. They haven't bought. I I sold them a bunch of. Uh, War of Light is bulk, which is kind of annoying. No rares or super rares. I'm still keeping those. I'm just waiting until they can. They'll start buying singles of that. Mm -hmm. And then. That's half. That's nearly all of my trade boxes. Extra rares and super rares from that set. What else do you still have from Chaos War? Uh, the only figures is Morgan Le Fay, Taskmaster. Well, you have, if you're on Team Rubicon, you have to keep your Morgan Le Fay, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'd kick or they'd probably eat me if I didn't. Yeah. Um, I actually remember I was making team with her in AVX because you can give her a running shot from the resource, and then like, yeah. What well, I did that for one of like one of my venues, we. They you had or two of my local venues. You had to make a theme team. That's what their rules for the event was. You had to make a constructed theme team. They didn't go by that really weird suggested format of making a constructed format. Dumb. Yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't fun. I know one of my venues did it. It was terrible. Um, but yeah, we so one the one venue I was Avengers. I used I used her in every team I made. Obviously, um, yeah. yeah. I'm looking at her again now, just because of obviously all these Avengers now. She is still ridiculously good. She's wonderful. Um, and the, oh, the other other figure I kept was Hawkeye. Obviously, yeah, he was. I had him in as many teams as I could as well. Yeah. Um, I think I don't have much. I mean, I have all my the commons and uncommons. I haven't bothered to get rid of, but like, I have like hawkeye who i actually just brought out because i because id card i have morgan i have uh the kang and doom chase but that's like pretty much it that i can think of i had i pulled so many i pulled like four or five kang and doom chases i, oh, I have a sister also who even though he's terrible oh my god daniel joins what did, what did you what, why such a waste yeah i just i don't know I don't think he was. I don't think he cared about making a meta piece. I mean, I just, like he just isn't good. Yeah, I just I wish he was a lot better than he was. Like, he's okay. Like, for big point, you basically need to have like over six hundred points to even want to look at him. Yeah, I played him once, and so I'm like, oh, I made a Marauders team out of it, and it still was. Yeah. No. Okay. I think yeah, I think I also have the locked on hairball just because that's inhuman and stupid and fun and I like animals in this game. But yeah. And we're finally getting plenty of pet avengers. I think we actually have more pet avengers like now than we have I think like ever. Well there's one, two, three, four in modern. Yeah. The only one we're missing, I think, is the lock or well the old Lockheed. I I don't know if the old Lockheed had it. Yeah, he did. 
Okay, and then the, the GSX the one had it. Yeah. GSX one, GSX him, Falcon from Captain America, Kazar, right. Lockjaw, Hairball, Wax, Lockheed, and then the, the, the new Lockjaws and Miss Lion. Oh yeah, Miss Lion has it. Oh, I've, I've, so bad though. Well, I bought like I did a. I went to that of uh, Brian Rupp's little flash event back in November. Yeah, I, I put I had like nineteen bucks after I paid for my entry fee and. I didn't know. I couldn't. I went. I had missed out on my locals, the closest uh, con in your store, because that's when I went to Dragon Con. Yeah. I wish you should have stayed home for that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I put in like nineteen dollars divided between the Cap Sentinel and the uh, Spider Man team base. Yeah. I want. Which I want. I won one of each, but then I won two of one of them, and he still owes me for that because he didn't give me the second one. But he said he'll give me some Connellys or something. I'm sure. He was at Nash. He was at US Nats, right? Yeah, he stopped by. Um, he stopped by early on because we talked to him because he 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 asked to see the. Uh, I showed him my Brainiac skull ship because he. I guess that was a, something he helped design. Yeah, I heard. And apparently, it was supposed to be. Different, like yeah, oh, yeah. So it was like a vehicle. Session, right? It was supposed to be a vehicle, and it was supposed vehicle to be- and a resource, kind of like, or yeah, it's supposed to have the resource portion that the supreme intelligence had, and they were gonna have like sit name city each of the like they're gonna have like name city powers like like Candor and Metropolis and Gotham and stuff like that. Yeah, they would do something different, but instead they just turned it into the piece it is now, which I guess is fine. It's um, a good piece. I mean, it's it did well enough at Canadian Nats. Um, I'm yeah. sure if someone wanted to run it, they would have tried running it at a U.S. Nats. But yeah, with did. the battery. Well, yeah, Amber placed 14th with it. So, well, we couldn't legally because last like you could have played them. Yeah, because I think Brian played. I remember. I swear, I saw Brian playing at last year's Nationals Mole Man Galactus Power Plant. Um, U.S. Nationals, which you could do because last year the first Nationals was British Nationals, right? So first, technically, you could do that. Yeah, which was stupid because they got all six Connellys, and they were they had their Nationals like in January or February or something like that. So I don't understand why they only ever give us three here in the state, three here in North America. Um, wait, it, and now it's like a month to U.S. Nats. We don't even know all the cons yet, so they better get on that. Yeah, uh, well, I'm looking like, forward to Adam Strange being like a Boba Fett kind of thing, and then yeah, Alex yeah, really. Then, that's who Alex yeah. wants the most is Adam Strange. He loves yeah. the JLA guys and girls. He uh, should be awesome. Loki. It'll be interesting to see Loki and Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, especially because like th- that one, we're not going to have one in modern after this. So hopefully, she's good. Yep, we'll have two. Oh, we have two Loki. Yeah, well, have two Lokis. Yeah. Uh, just Loki. So, the the rare at full points is so bad for those points. Like it topped out ten attack for over two hundred points. Yeah, like, I, I was surprised that they put. I was surprised that uh. Saturday there's played, also the uh, Loki. There's four. the movie Loki's also. Oh yeah, we still have Thor: The Dark World. So I forgot. Yeah. Um, but it got worse. Like they're not using him since they nerfed his yeah. disappearance power, which I didn't even know about. We weren't even discussing that. Like I heard, I didn't even hear about that until after they nerfed it. I didn't know that was going to be a thing. Oh, that would have been dumb. And thankfully they nerfed. Like I didn't think it was going to be a thing either. With the whole Batmite thing and entities. Ugh. Like really, it was like it's. It's yeah, good, but just seems so stupid. It seems like something. Even if they brought it to a major tournament, they'd instantly like, all right, no, like, <laughs> we're not, no, we're not going to allow that to happen. Yeah, they don't think shit like that. I like the Loki at partial points much, much, much more, especially because like trade the the four six shape change plus super senses and like there's not much battle fury or ignoring shape change going on. No, yeah, that's. Of all the competitive, like I have him, like it's really hard finding like a top, even a top five for competitive pieces in this format. I have him at lower points in there. I you have mean, him. like stuff from this set? Yeah. It's just, they're so, like it's Rick Jones, 
3D Man, Red Wolf, Loki. It's not much. Uh, probably Miss Marvel, just because she's so cheap for such a decent attack. Like you do get, you get six, you get six clicks out of her. And you can get the cl- traded close combat expert or shape change or whatever. Yeah, she has. Shape I think change. Falcon had some potential. Yeah, we're gonna take. Oh, I didn't take him out. Yeah, because the 12 free, 12 free move, and then he gets close combat expert, and then yeah. he picks whatever defenses he wants. He has some potential. 12 movement is a lot, so. For free, too. It's like, that's kind of crazy. I think he might even show up more, because I know he. Does he have an ID card in this set, or no? Um, He's getting one later. Yeah, I know if we'd get one eventually. I'm trying to see what I'm missing. Yeah. I'm only missing a handful of ID cards, too. I got a lot of duplicates. I got. I got nine of the fifteen. It looks like so. I'm missing six. One. So I'm missing three, seven, eight, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hmm. Which is Rick Jones the only? Are there how many? Is do you know how chase? many? Is that, is that a chase card? Is that a thing? Uh, that's what I'm wondering because I saw people selling them for like thirty bucks online. I know manifold is like twenty US. The twenty. Right. Dollars US, which is crazy. I thought I pulled a manifold card. Yeah, I was surprised. That's one of the ones I pulled, and I was like, it's a terrible ID card because it doesn't do anything. What is a boost? Um, Speed by three, I believe, which is good. Yeah, I want to find speed by three, but like also, like, manifold himself won't be able to do anything. Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's nice. I guess if you wanted to, like, I don't know. If you had like a hyper, uh, I guess if I wanted to like TK someone else, I'd either be, I'd have to be using the TK or the barrier. Yeah, and plus he can technically do his trait where he get the move action to boost defense as well. It's he's cheap. That's probably that's probably the, the cheapest. Thing. Like he, it's essentially a five point TK. Right. Yeah, five point TK, or if you really need a five point barrier. Because like even if, you're, wall. even if you're giving somebody, even if you're giving a pog uh, the catapult, that's still a thirteen point investment, right? Yeah, it does. I'll have to see these in action. I'm, I think some will show up at worlds. I don't think too many though. I just so the cards released so far, Shang Chi might show up because he's a good attacker and gets precision strike. Yeah, precision Daredevil. strike is the biggest thing. Daredevil probably resources. not Hawkeye for sure. What does he end up so giving? He uh, gives plus two. Oh, range plus two, yeah. Widow might show up because the Captain America 2 ones are pretty good. Uh, the new starter one is, well, top dial. I can't remember what she does. Um, the target one is okay. Yeah, the, the Avengers of Age of Ultron starter one is not that good. You just may as well play Hawkeye. I'm really annoyed though because you can't use the Ronin card with a movie Hawkeye. Why? Because the, there's no real name on the card. Oh yeah, because no, yeah, no movie dudes have real names on the card. And I so, asked specifically, and I, I even said, "Is there no place where it says like that this guy's real name is Clint Barton?" And they're like, "No, he just doesn't have a real name." Of course. So I mean, oh, still, there's you can use like another Hawkeye. Which you wouldn't, because the main set Hawkeye. Because there's the three Hawkeyes in modern, right? And then the main set one from Age of Assemble isn't that good. Yeah, we have. I'm trying to think, we have the one from the Avengers Assembled, uh, Age of Ultron, Fear yeah, itself. No, Fear itself is actually not bad. The triple target in cap and enhancement. Yeah, it's just the the point value is like what's killing him. He's higher yeah, points. Yeah, but it's all like he'll get one shotted, especially because he has the stop click. So if you give him an ID, yeah. get him an ID card, they need to double tap him. So yeah, they'll have to deal a lot of damage. Five to damage kill him. plus the yeah. You know what? Maybe I could see playing a Ronin yeah. card just to get him in. Cersei has mind control. There's just yeah. I was like I was just talking to Brian. He said he didn't see any Cersei cards. Oh, I got two of them here. What's the rarity on that? Mm, it's common. It's the last common, actually. It's number 10. And what's the inspiration? 
uh, damage plus one. Interesting. I'm just trying to see what her damage power is on her card. I think it's the shape change. Probably. Yeah, well, prob and shape change. Right. And if she uses shape change, occupies hindering, it's four through six. Yeah, she's decent mm. for sealed. Yeah. I mean, if you need a prober, I mean, I think she's the only top dial prober you can No, bring she her. starts off on uh, running shot, psychic blast, inv- invulnerable, perplex. She actually just so she doesn't start off on it. It's on the second click she gets on that dial. Well, no, she has. No, she starts with my. My play- control TK, her lower point value. She probably starts on running shot. Yeah, her lower, yeah, lower point, point value was what. I'm, yeah. Oh. Um, oh right. Yeah. Okay. She has to start off with problem shape change. Yeah. So if, I mean, yeah, have have a, it's a really you have to have a you know a close but to two hundred point piece. Uh, two hundred points for your TK. No. Did you pull any times uh, where you got the character and their ID card in the same pack? No, I checked. Not a single one. I think I was fake drafting boosters for for potential. Like we were gonna do some sealed games with our bricks before. I think I got because I was like going two by two along the column. I think I got manifold in one and the card in the other. Oh, so I would have had it potentially for that, but but none of them actually the same. Yeah, not the actual same booster. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um. Prime wise, I think I don't even think. Power princesses. Even as a Squadron Supreme member, I'd still probably run Wizzer and Doc Spectrum on a theme team, if anything. Oh, definitely. She's not even. She's no. just mediocre. She's a mediocre attacker. For 150 points, I don't see where that's coming from. Yeah, her Alex, is extremely Alex described her as. In, she's the in between of like the the Wonder Woman from last set. She's what her stats would look like if Wonder Woman from Trinity War had a 150. As a prime, I don't. I would rather play primes and all of her key, other primes and all of her keywords over her. What's I was saying? I can even see like so. I'm, I don't. I wonder if they're gonna stop if if she's the last uh, Squadron Supreme, or if we're gonna get one more in the next set. Well, you know, well, are there primes in Age of Ultron uh, OP? Uh, or what? The Age of Ultron like storyline set. Well, there'll be there is a there's one of there's gonna be four primes. I don't know if I don't think there was any Squad and Supreme people in the storyline. You never know. Well, Moon's like, what does she have to do? Uh, what does Power Princess have to do with anything? And she was the prime of freaking what's her name? So that didn't make much sense either. Well, I think that's because they've been doing... They've had the Squadron Supreme in the last four sets. It's also weird that they changed the slot from SR to Uncommon. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I don't know if they really... Her, really her. Like, even if she's Squadron Supreme, and you can do them all together. But yeah, like, she doesn't offer anything unique like the other... Well, they all Hyperion do something... Big dumb guy. Like, although nowadays, I think Hyperion isn't... As good as other hypersonic dudes. No, not comp- now. After we got two hundred fifty points, Superman. Although power cosmic. Yeah, like I'd say that, except for like now, like the big one of the big things also is that fucking Omega Drive, like uh, greed Omega Drive Ion, it, or greed Omega Drive, or yeah, greed Omega Drive Obsidian. At some point at Canadian Nationals, but I didn't see any of that really. We saw we the, there was some of it uh, here at a. In U.S. Nats, interesting. It was a fitting instead of Ion, which I don't like as much. That is, you're definitely way better off using Ion for that. Yeah, I'd rather get the I. You get, you don't care about boosting. Sh- you don't really. I mean, you don't get a lot of stuff to boost on Green anyways, and you don't care about boosting too much on a 67 point piece. Well, it depends what. Also depends what battery you want to use. You're definitely not using an orange battery with that team, so why'd you want to use a Fidian? Whereas you might use a green power battery. I think it was just like if you utilize because you could utilize a special outwit. So if you outwit a power, you can use it. But yeah, you know, I'd, and then I, and then that would be that would be actually that, that's pretty awesome with the orange battery potentially. And then you shut it off for the rest of their team. Yeah, but still, I don't I don't think it was I like iron better. <laughs> Speaking iron of just. Which, Works better. Where did I put that eye on? I just got one in the mail from a trade. F- traded two. Z- traded some zombies off for one. Oh well, it's somewhere around here. 
Alex's birthday is in a few days, so I'll give it to him then. I feel bad because I took him off my star girl way back in the day. But and, then, I mean, he, he could like honestly, if people wanted to take him off, they take him off. He didn't really. Yeah. He's not the one. To, he's not one to care about that, and no. it's whatever. Yeah. But then I put him back, but then I just took him out, and he fell off again. So I was like, oh. No, I know I, he wouldn't care. It's just like, yeah. Didn't I mean, look yeah, that bad. I was just like, it's just a bit distracting. Like, I have nothing against him being yeah, on the scope, oh. but like, of all the champ sculpts, it's just, it's just takes it stunning away for me. He looks, I mean, he does look the most different out of anyone who's won, though. I, I, I like, obviously, other people feel like they have, they have said what they said about it being like wrong or whatever their reasons are. It just doesn't gel for me. Yeah, I I think that means that we're gonna see both fucking Majestics ones in a single. Well, I don't think they'll throw them in a, in Age of Ultron, so I think we're gonna see both of them in, uh, what do you call it, Nick Fury. Because if we don't, we won't see them until 2016. Because the only the last set of the year is uh, Wait, Superman see him. one, see Majestics World Pieces. Like we have, to, if we're gonna see them this year at all, we're, it's gonna be a Nick Fury. Wait, what Majestic's world piece? What? Their world figure, the figures they're going to make for world. They made for their. Oh, Majestic. I was like, I, yeah. thought, I was like confusing you, Majestic's Rubicon for a second. No. Um, yeah, so. No, well, the the team world, I thought they were potentially making a team. What's the deal with that? They, It's like. I don't think so. Because, like, this, from what I heard, it was up to, like, the head. Like, I don't think it's going to happen because how are they going to release it? Because there's no. We don't have there's they'd have to make another Marvel set that has super boosters. Yeah, and they said they wanted to do Hydra. I just I don't and the from what I hear it was whoever scored the most points is like that all the teammates would get to make the figure, but the like the person who got to choose it was whoever has sc- end up scoring the most points out of Was that patch for, also? I have no idea. I didn't hear what happened with that. Um but either way, like I don't think, like I don't, I don't think they're going to be making a team base because it effectively means they get to make three figures. I just don't think they're like WizKids is going to let that fly. Not even necessarily three, like the actual base plus. Even if they make only three, because like team bases need minimum three pieces, so that's a, that's four pieces, kind of. Yeah, when yeah, Unless including, including like his chameleon piece, base. like because Soul Adventure is a part of it. So unless it's like, no, it wouldn't work. That's way too many figures. No, I mean I know what it'd probably be like. Baron Struker, Baron Zemo, and and that's the thing. I don't even think Baron Struker is Hydra, so it'd be like Red Skull, Baron Struker, and someone else. Yeah. Well, we're never gonna get a hate monger because that would just be way too controversial. Yeah, and and I don't think and hate monger didn't come around. Or well, no, he wasn't World War Two. Yeah, and he's well, the closest thing because he was like what a clone of Hitler or something. Yeah, exactly. So that's why it wouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah. I can't I think. Mind. Of- um, unless they had some kind of, if they had any rulers, because I know Hydra also was kind of spawned out of Japan, or that's where it kind of. Well, they expanded into Japan, kind of. Yeah, after they like after the yeah. they, and it just seems really well. I guess they could do like Gorgon or someone. Yeah, it could. It probably isn't happening. No, I just it'll be one will get to design one figure, so we'll Ooh. get the chameleon, and then we'll get whatever whoever scored this. I doubt. Like, I'm sure they'll probably all agree. Yeah, I hope I would. I would imagine like that Patrick would concede like the slot to like someone else on the team if he did score the most points. Yeah. Like most people I know, that's what they said they'd do if they'd already designed a figure or designing one. They just end up conceding it to one of their teammates. Yeah. But uh, really, it could be it should be interesting because of what he was. I heard he was saying he's going to do. What was he saying? Heard like to let that he could copy traits and stuff. That seems like it'd just be broken. Yeah, it's bad enough. Like most traits, until like the Omega Drive, most traits you could do nothing about the powers on them. Well, the Omega Drive, you still have to possess the count, the power to counter it. You still have to possess it. That's just a, even if they can use it, because no, it's outwit still needs to be possessed power. You can't outwit traits with it. Well, you went out with the trait. You do it with the power they could use through it, the trait. It can't be a can use power. It has to be possessed power. Oh, I I was reading that he could be even uh, 
counter. It has to, be, it has to be that would have to be applicable in the first place, which it would it does isn't unless it's possessed. Oh. Yeah, the Mega Drive's not as broken as you might initially think. Yeah, I know just some I know you can counter friendly stuff, but I don't think that really matters. There's not too much oh there's really ever want to besides maybe Battle Fury and Earthbound. Earth, yeah. Then I don't think even Battle That's, Fury, I'd rather have Battle Fury in today's like meta. Unless you want to forward. like carry them or something, or like yeah, with the Earthbound if you want their symbols back. Yeah, and even Earthbound. But, like, there's not really any ways to get Earthbound. Like, Dominic, it's a very rare power. Yeah, they stopped. Like, it was Superman hasn't had it in a while, and he was like the one person who usually they gave it to. I can't remember the last person who had Earthbound on their dial. I want to say the duo, the Superman duo, had it. Yeah, the like, con one. Yeah, when it uh, when they went to one person. That was an awesome story. I'm glad I got that thing. Uh, Groot gets it. Super Skull oh, can yeah. pick it. Zombies. Zombies team base gets it for one click. Uh, click. Yeah. Daisy Future Past Angel. Daisy Future Past Colossus. Fast Forces Red Hulk. Uh, AVX Cable. Phoenix Buster Iron Man. And DC Wise. Luther gets it? Oh, yeah. Luther does get it. Mm. Trinity War Luther. Oh yeah. Uh, Interesting. It, it happens. Not as often as it's probably the rarest power. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's weird actually because like most of the time these days it seems to appear more as a counter to flight than a count than like versus Indom. Oh, like, I think. Actually, no. I know the the Hulk gets it in this set. Does he? Oh, when he goes to his banner click. Oh, okay. That may, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because he loses. He'll lose. The, he loses the Indom, the giant. Sh- he doesn't have uh, Indom. I don't think he. he might, Hulk is does. He they didn't. They didn't put it on the set review. They didn't have the Indom on the the spoiler, but he does possess Indomitable. The spoiler was yeah. The guy who writes the most the Marvel spoilers mostly is decent. Yeah, that's, only, that's one of the only articles. I, that's only the only shit I read on there most of the time. I don't quite agree with his review on Whirlwind. I think Whirlwind is a lot better than... I think it's at least a three shield. Yeah. I mean, it is only a ten attack, but... People in Realms are stupid, though. Like, when I did it, and I, I said um, Shaggy Man was like, don't even consider him. I accidentally did four shields. People were, like, seriously confused. Like, Yeah, it's like... I like yeah, I played like, against he's a durable Whirlwind. figure, but it's just he doesn't do any. Da- he doesn't have a high enough attack. No, but as far as Whirlwind goes, yeah, ignoring characters and flight when he does the ch- when he gets charged, so he doesn't ignores everything ever. Um, I, was, I was surprised they gave him the ignore hindering since he already has charge. Or, I mean, already yeah. has flight. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of redundant. Yeah, he never really has a bad click. Like size of close combat expert is decent still. He's only eighty yeah. points. Yeah, he's cheap and like in sealed. I see him, the th- charge flurry, and you're always gonna with a two damage. You're always gonna super play. senses when precision strike isn't gonna necessarily be there. Is not a bad defensive. Well, there's so many thing. tens and nines in this format too. Yeah, there's a like, lot unless of you're tens. unless you're a bomb like you, you like you have to be over hundred points in this set. It seems to even ha- be considered for a eleven. Even then, not necessarily. Like Nova is one hundred and forty and starts off with Sandman is starts off with a ten, but he gets Perplex, I guess. Yeah, Prime I mean, Star Brand starts off with a ten, but Perplex as well. Yeah, I mean, three D Man has it, but he has to be able to get over there, and he like that's his biggest thing is being terrain, yeah. yeah. I think Trick Shot is probably the exception in the set. Yeah, that's what my buddy was talking about. He's just like, because he talked about his seal. It's just like, there's no, like, there's trick shot, and then there's cap and uh, Thor, or like the blatant ones, without going in like to your like chase rares or perplex. But yeah. starting off, no, twelve is twelve is not. Which we saw. I don't think we saw a lot of twelves in Trinity War, but we saw a lot of elevens. Well, that was most. Th- I don't think there were any rare or under 12s but yeah once you got into the srs which were nuts yeah you saw a lot of 12s yeah 10 is just super abundant 
There's a lot of eighteen. There's a lot of really good defenses. Just weird. Yeah, this, this set is definitely an anomaly. Which I'm, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Nick Fury is a lot of the same. Since I'm, a, I'm we're going to get a lot of Avengers again, but we're going to be getting because well, they're lot designing of fucking agents. Although the question is, is if different teams are doing these sets because it's like they're both Marvel, but who knows who's making what sets? Yeah. I could imagine seeing like a lot of tens and nines if there's a, a plentiful amount of agents in the next set. Yeah. I mean, we know we're getting like. Well, there is an agent card, multiples even, I think. Yeah, and there's like just a generic like shield agent card too, I think. Because yeah. I remember I, I looked up all the cards when I put in my LEs after US Nationals. Since they have them all on, they have all the achievements on there. Which I wish they would give out. Don't do anything, right? They're just like, ooh, achievement. Yeah. I was hoping, I would love it if they did. That's how they gave out the last five ID cards. I think that, that would be cool because it would show, like, or put it, give the fans a reason to, like, collect this crap. Like, oh, I got all these cards. It's like, oh, you got all, like, you got all of the Avenger, or Avengers Assembled cards. Okay, we'll send you this LE card in the mail. It's like, okay, that's nice. Because usually you have to register some kind of address. Or if they m just make you register like an address for wherever your ne nearest store is, or send it to like your a store you're registered to and instruct it to give it to you. That'd yeah, be it's cool. also like they used to do buy by the brick. Now they didn't. Then they did mar the marquees that they did were pretty decent. Like the Nightwing and Batgirl duo was decent. They started doing those too. Yeah, and then they just stopped to like, th when was the last set they stopped doing that? Streets of Gotham, I think, is the last marquee. Yeah, that's that's the one that's coming to mind. Is the bat? Is the Damien Batman? Yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm, but I did notice a lot of stores were stuck with them. Really? I, I, knew, I knew places that were not not necessarily with the duos, but they were stuck with a lot of Batmans, a lot of Visions. Uh, uh, you can't find Batmans here. Yeah, well, or stores I went to like, like, like yeah, visions are a lot of, and who's the other one? The the, the pre complicate the wars. Uh, there's <laughs> the Namor yeah. one that are the not Namor, um, Nova. Yeah. Nova Prime. Oh god. So he wasn't very it's good. Just, yeah, and they made like, you think the free complicate day one would would be exclusive to that day, but then I would just like when I started because like I started playing around then, and I was like I didn't know what was what, and then I was like oh. I can just go and buy this for three bucks. It's yep. not like I have any to actually go to free comic book day. Like what? I'm, I'm glad they stopped making them purple rings as of this year. Yeah, but not that they're any good. Well, I love that Joker that they made last year. Yes, yeah, that was when I was disappointed. It wasn't a non promo. Yeah, it's, I didn't. I mean, I didn't even bother to get him even for home games. Just because, like, what's the point? Yeah, I don't. I don't like having stuff I won't be able to play in. I sell anything I don't have in modern. I, I sold my, the last shipment I sent the troll and toad. I gave him back. I gave him my, uh, my zombie Galactus and my anti monitor just because they were just gathering dust and. Yeah, you know, well, the problem with Galactus is his trait where he automatically does his thing and then you don't score the first thing you kill. Right. Least, yeah. Do you, like, not consider stuff that isn't meta? Because, like, I know a lot of people are like that more. Uh, I keep some stuff if it has some cinema, but, like, value, you know, but like, not much. I mean, like, more like, do you only think, like, when you're, like, do you only think pure meta or is it just, like... For the most part, it's yeah. it carried over from what my, ma my days in Magic because I was always competing in events and whatnot. I just... I... I've thought about this game fun initially, but I really I, I need something to compete in, and I can't do Hearthstone because I can I can play Hearthstone, but it's just for the most part way too random. Yeah, well, I want to do meta, but like there just isn't any of it. Most a lot of it here. There's no point spending all the time like playtesting and whatnot if like you're not gonna actually do anything with it. I think they need more events, like because for yeah. meta, the most part, like the only things are nationals and worlds. Yeah, so, like, like we're getting provincials, which is neat, but like I just I did, I generally have a distaste for the rock, so I and don't. There aren't any real prizes. They're just like rock swag bullshit things. Like I don't need that crap. 
yeah, I don't want your dice or your fucking t-shirt or your hats. Your maps are kind of cool, but whatever. They're still fucking maps. Yeah, I like the dice, but like they're fucking dice. I have a million pairs of dice. I don't need more. I don't want. I don't. I hate rounded edge dice. I don't need more of them. I know. Did you read the rant that that guy did about the thing that happened at Canadian Nats or the the rock that went on the same weekend as Nats? Oh fucking god! That guy is so dumb. And just like he just, I mean, you honestly have to like. All right, you have some people that are definitely going to go to it. Just tell them, like, you know, all right, I know I really want to have this, this this weekend too, but we have Canadian Nats going on. I just feel we're not going to pull enough people to actually make this worth it. So I'd honestly just like you guys, if we can push this back a week or two, find a date where but, more people can go. Just but Nobody just like, went to Canadian Nationals anyway, though. It was like... He was like, oh, Nationals stole all my, do- all my locals, but, like, you're on the opposite coast. Did really, you really think a lot of people went... Yeah, people people only go. Most people only go to rocks if it's a nearby, if it's a local rock. Like, I don't know well, anyone. It was a su- but it was a super Q, right? It was something bigger. I mean, I know we had a shitload of prizes to give out, but still, like, yeah, like I looked up like the provincial prizes. Like, there's nothing. The actual rock, like they, they might be outside prizes, but there's really nothing there. There's no point. Like it's close to me, so I'll go. But like, if it was that wasn't that convenient, I really just wouldn't. Honestly, until the rock, like the the biggest draw, of the rock was it's like the first first Hero Clicks money tournaments, and until that becomes like a regular thing, and not just like oh a big money tournament at the end of the year, like the that's the reason Star City Games, which is like the biggest secondary seller of Magic cards, down in uh they're off the tip, they're near they're they're in Virginia, yeah. but uh. They're down in Roanoke, Virginia, but like they're a huge. Um, they have their own open series, and they have a tournament every weekend. But like the draw of that was, it was a money tournament. I mean, it didn't start off with a whole lot of money. They were only giving like at first they were giving like a thousand dollars or so, five to hundred to thousand dollars to like first place. Yeah. But, like you have to start off small like that, but you have to offer money or something. Like you can only offer people hero clicks shit for like so long. Yeah, the people going to the rocks are usually the competitive people who already have a lot of this stuff. So it's like then you're pretty much just giving them shit that they have to take the time to sell now. People don't want to do that most of the time. How much Our- money was it last year uh, as the prize for uh, what's uh, it called? Uh, I don't know. It was like <sighs> not enough. I think it was like five grand for first. What then say? you have all your travel costs. Like that's not. Yeah. I mean, Jake, Jake, Jake kind of made out just because he so, he sold so many of his points actually there. Cause that, yeah, he, but he then he qualified. sold too many and had to play. Yeah. Well, no, he, I think like because he still had a lot of points left because he was even selling them after he'd qualified for the finals, which yeah. was funny. The funny story about that, I don't know if anyone really brought up too often, but we actually had 33 people and uh, 33 people for the finals. And thankfully, one jackass just had to decide to take a sweet ass time. And Terry was just yeah. like, "Dude, I gave you guys like thirty minutes to fill out your deck sheets, and you're not done. Like, all right, you're DQ'd." Wow. So it's like, oh, we have an even thirty-two. So everyone is prizing at this point. Yeah, I know it can. Nas, they were like very intense about the things. Like, do it the night before. You have to list literally everything. Well, and I was using like constructs and word bubbles, so I literally filled my sheet. Well, he, they give us more than enough time to fill out. Like, oh yeah, I had to fill like I filled out every single hammer, and then they even gave us like a small tax form to fill out, which for most of us doesn't actually matter, because it's if it's not if it's in America and it's not above a certain amount, you don't have to pay taxes on it. So like half the top thirty two, like seventeenth through thirty second, which included myself, who only get a hundred dollars, we shouldn't have had to fill out a tax form anyways. That's dumb. Because if it's a hundred dollars, you don't get taxed because I know that from when I played the Star City Opens in Magic, because I've earned a hundred dollars yeah. there and you don't get taxed for that. They would literally just pay us cash. It's only if you get like I don't know if it's like above two hundred or five hundred or something like that that you actually start out to pay and Yeah. I think but even officials- I think provincials give twenty points, so I might want to go and just sell the points because I know we're having one. Point. We're having one at a local store. There's a store we don't, there's another store that's connected to the store that our team uses. Uh, we don't go to as much because it's kind of out of the way. Yeah, so they're hosting one. I think end of June, 
So I think we're just going to go whatever prize that like we're probably going to make off with most of it because I don't think there's too many people in Virginia who are going to make make the drive or outside of Virginia to make the drive. And in yeah. Virginia, it's really only Rubicon in terms of the higher tier players. There's a few individuals here and there, but it's mostly just us. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We have like some decent locals, but like I don't know. I don't know if it'll, it'll be that easy to place first, but it should be easy to do well. But now the question is if it's even worth it. I think let me I have to double check what the hell the pricing is. It's like can't be that good. That was another thing about last year's rock is they didn't give a shit for prices. Like all the LEs were like outdated ones. Who like Jake took like the 2011 LEs just because he didn't have them. <laughs> It's like they were giving out a bat a, a Batmobile as a prize. Like I can go and buy this at my local store. I don't think I really want to win it. That's hilarious. Well, that's something else I have to figure out too. If eventually, because I heard I read somewhere that the Quinjet is also going to utilize the ID cards. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. What the Apparently, hell? It's the top top prize for this thing is twenty points, two dice, and two tokens plus map. Are you fucking kidding me? It's ridiculous. It's so. Why would I even want. Why would I care? And usually for the points, you have to wait. Like, the points, don't, like, they only go up over time. So you got to wait until, like, right before the rock and then sell them for, like, sell them all the desperate yeah. people going if down. If I there. want, I would just give them to somebody who would actually need them and want to go. I don't know. I won, like, a couple points at the one rock feeder. I think I won, like, two. I just gave them away because like I, don't, I can't be bothered. I just yeah, it's it's too far a drive. I don't care that's not in Atlanta anymore. I'm still not going to it. Where is it now? I heard it's like it's some it's still in it's still in Georgia, but it's like some it's like out right outside of Atlanta at some like convention center or something. That's Which Dragon Con like me. apart from that, like Dragon Con is just a humongous clusterfuck. It is a convention that's five different hotels. Oh so you have to God. go from hotel to hotel. You got to go to one hotel to pick up your badge. The gaming, like gaming's in another hotel. The dealers are in a third hotel. All the cosplayers, fifth hotel. All the panels, that's another hotel. That's it was fucking just, stupid. Yes. It was a clusterfuck. And I was like, I'm never going to drive. I wouldn't go to Dragon Con again anyways. I heard such good things and I was vastly disappointed. It was just really, it's, it's summer. It's hot as it's humid as fuck in Atlanta. It's a city. Yeah. And I hate cities in general. I wouldn't be interested even if I did qualify. Just fuck that. Yeah, it's just not worth it. And if you like, if you don't get a hotel within the city, you end up in a shithole, and you end up having to take the train to get. You have to buy some metro tickets to get to take a train into Atlanta. So no. Atlanta in general is just... It's yeah, a it is. It's, it's, it's definitely in Atlanta. Just, I don't, you say, uh -oh. just where it actually I think is. it's probably not in the city. It's pro it's probably like within the limits. It's just not in like... It's not downtown like Dragon Con is. So it's like... Because Atlanta, like technically where, where we were... Where Jake, Dan, Jamie, and... Uh, fuck, what was the last guy's name? Dan who? Char. Oh, yeah. Cause that's who I room. It's the guys I end up rooming with. Uh, uh -huh. um, but uh, yeah, it's like we were, t we were in Fulton County, but it's still technically Atlanta. It's just like the outskirts of Atlanta. So Atlanta stretches really far, but there's like a lot of areas like right on the outside, which I think this is what this is where that's where the convention center is. will be for this year's rock, but still, I just don't see it. Like, You'd have to make the prize really worth it, and just all my cost to get there and whatnot, it just wasn't worth it. Yeah, according to the guy who posted this event, we have a whole slew of old prize kit stuff to sort through for prizes. Like, fuck. Yeah, I don't want old prize kits. I'll end up having to sell it. <sighs> fuck. If I don't, if it's not like this series LEs, and I'll already have, I'll probably have a. I don't even know what that means. That may as well. I could just mean old LE LEs, like or OP kit or marquee figures. 
Ugh, like nowadays I just buy everything for five bucks a piece and that's it. I don't care. That's a th- that's that's something else. This game needs a good secondary market, and we really don't have it. And TCG player, because I was talking to somebody, because TCG player is one of the biggest things for like selling magic on the secondary market outside of eBay, but they just yeah. don't have anything on there Heroclix wise, and they really don't have a standard because SCG player usually acts. Um, I don't want. I don't know what type of... I can't remember what that word is. Where they pretty much gather up all the average prices of all the other surrounding sites and kind of give you an average uh, like what this yeah. piece should be. There's like... There's so few... We, there's like a very... There's miniatures market. There's Troll and Toe. There's Cool Stuff Inc. I don't even know of any need, other sites. We need prizes in this game to be worth something. It's not even worth going to tournaments to win. Like That's what I was saying. Well... The fact they gave us no prizes at US Nats this year was like Pretty largely what? disappointing. Well, like if you didn't top thirty two, you didn't get prize. Yeah, same Whereas, at our Nats, except like the that happened with ours, but then the guy was like, you know what, this is really stupid, and then like at when they when they like everybody in top thirty two got something. Not top thirty um like everybody who was in the qual was the who qualified got something. Like well, anywhere from an ID card to a uh, L E L E. Well, top thirty-two but. in ours was like guaranteed. Uh, like I think three, all three ID cards. Yeah. Um, but last year, just like they get, like they set the standard by giving us all this stuff, and then they just decide next year, and they had plenty of con LEs because they still had boxes and boxes and boxes of con LEs, even as like the last battle royals were going on. Yeah. And like, just set something aside, like, because it encourages. Like, I feel like you shouldn't be encouraging your players to play all the way through. And like, even people who went two and two last year, like, still walked out with something. And just like, yeah, with two and two, you're probably not you're not qualifying for sure. Mm -hmm. But you know, it encourages them to keep playing. And most of my team kind of came to the like same agreement. Like, you know, uh, we should have just played battle royales in the zombie event. The oh, zombie yeah. event was eighty bucks. You got five boosters and a zo- random zombie. Yeah, and if you did well enough, which we saw the competition in there, and like it was because a lot of people were still in the qualifiers that they didn't play in the zombie event, and like it would have been very easy to do well in the zombie event and walk away with a place set or a factory set of something nice. Yeah, but if you get first, I played when I went to Canadian Nationals. I wasn't pre-registered for any event. Ended up basically like starting the day off with a battle royale, which I was like, pulled Manhunter to win the weird. That was awesome. Just first thing. And then, um, but I ended up in three qualifiers. Didn't really get, I got fellowship for Nelly in one of them, but like realistically, would have just ended up just better off with battle royales. Yeah. Although, I, like, I, 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 those pull- be, I thought there'd be better. I, I, I just didn't want to win the prizes. Like, I could care less about. Like the weird Spider Ham and uh, fucking Animal Man. I did like the fact they threw the holiday figures in. I don't know if they did that for you guys. We had the holiday figures and we had uh, okay. Wolverine and Batman. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I played in three Battle Royales. I got ID cards in two of them. And in the last one, I got, I barely won on points in a Galactic Guardians one and got really? Red Galactic Guardians? Oh, we pulled shit in ours. Like, like the the bombiest figure pulled was the one I pulled, and that was uh, Black Bolt. And oh, there was wow. nothing more powerful than Black Bolt on there. You mean Hulk? Hmm. You mean uh, incredible? Or you mean Guardians of the Galaxy? Guardians of the Galaxy Black Bolt. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, that was the bombiest figure that any of us pulled. Our our packs are pretty crap. And plus, one guy to the left of me, like, kind of set up this, like, he knocked down this guy's sleepwalker to, like, halfway. So I just had to, like, running shot, single target pulse wave, and I was up 110 points. Yeah. And then the only other two p- figures I killed was, like, a Chitari guy and an Alpha Primitive. And that put me 10 points above the second place guy, who was at one six. He knocked out Drax and something 60 points. I don't know what. Yeah. Did you have battle royales where it was you paid extra and it was two cons in the pool instead of one? They did that except they were team battle royales. I don't know if they were supposed to be for us, but yeah, those those were cool. 
we did. I thought about doing those, but we calc. I calculated with one of my teammates, and we found out that pretty much second place. You wanted to be the losing team because the they threw an extra prize, but it was always a fucking Krampus. So it's <sighs> like it's an Ellie that's pretty much worth near nothing. Really, I thought it was worth something. <laughs> they were. They were later in the day. They got so people were so pissed off about getting Krampuses. They have they would have you randomly pick up Ellie out of a box. If you pulled Krampus, they let you pick again. I so thought Krampus was well. I guess uh, he's not that. He might good. have been. An, he might have been initially, but like not anymore. People yeah. don't want Krampus. All but, I uh, know is that like Canadians should be grateful that cons are a thing in our country now because like they ever were before. But like. The only thing I ended up posting locally was a spider ham who I asked for for the reasonable a hundred dollars. Yeah, and then I got like offers of like sixty or less. I was like, "What are, are you like? Really? Like this literally just came out?" Yeah, it's like well, the, the 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 eBay agrees with me. Like that's where I got this price from. Like even then, fifty is a fucking ridiculous thing to offer. It's just. Ugh. So yeah, so even though I when I did get an extra, I didn't end up being able to sell it, so I just gave it as a gift to somebody. So yeah. that's what I thought. I was like hurting for money. I spent way too much money. I shouldn't have bought the skull ship uh, yeah. when I went. To I that. ended up buying, ended up buying a secret intelligence to flip. Uh, Faust intending to flip, but then just kept it instead. Uh, and it's really good. That's yeah. if I'm gonna buy any more, I think I'm just gonna buy the two fifteen dollar ones when I go to Worlds. Well, those are apparently pretty valuable. Yeah, it's everyone like wants this. Um, I don't, I, I don't quite. The strange so is the, really good. I don't. Um, yeah, I think so. I like one hundred fifty is a little a little high. I don't. I watched Jason's video about like running both of them together on a team. I think that's interesting. I just think like it doesn't because I talked to because uh, like Ed ran that team. <laughs> from four points and that's what drake lost drake lost to it in a fucking roll off in top 16 that can that's yeah i think that sounds yeah. familiar and it's just like it nothing happened like it just it slowed down you his just team. wait for nothing to happen basically yeah it's like he kept clicking through his uh he had like a battery and that's what he kept clicking through i think and like he just couldn't get there because it's like oh three movement or only free actions or something like that. It's just yeah. like because you have because you have two probs on that team between Tim and Strange, and it just it doesn't like it seems like an okay team just doesn't do anything. And yeah, I, I'm and never plus you have the uh, Supreme Intel. I think it was yeah you play. Oh, maybe it was Supreme Intelligence. Yeah, because yeah, I remember now. It's like yeah, Tim and the two leaves you with exactly twelve points left. So yeah, you try and get the Supreme Intelligence to happen, but like. Even if your turns are only like thirty seconds each for all that rolling, like it still yeah. takes forever. It's not gonna happen unless you're making attacks. Yeah, so like he was real he was a little bit pissed about that. And understandably, since I, I just hate teams that don't do anything. Like I can see maybe Felix like if you like, want to slow team back. The guy was playing Phantom X was just a, also one with a lot of roll offs. Yeah, I'm hearing more and more roll offs as the time goes on. Because he was basically playing a lot of barrier. And like in the finals, it was just like Kenny came in and smashed through it. It was just like that's game. <laughs> Start attacking. Yeah, when we when everyone saw that in the chat, when we we're watching on Twitch, we're like, okay, Kenny won. Like yeah, even he, before the match game like began, like, oh, he's playing Phantom X. Yeah, Kenny won. Just like he I was really actually just... consider, I was considering playing a Phantom X team, but like he asked, my friend pointed out that like you can't beat a dupe and gluttony with that, so I just didn't end up doing that. Yeah, we talked like we had we tested with it, and I think one of our teammates was possibly going to run it, but like now it's like you can still run it. It's just it's really it's if as long as gloop as long as gloop is a thing, it's just like what are you going to do? Like you can yeah. all right, you can slow. First of all, like most teams, you have to take out, like John was talking about, like running, like JLA team base, I think is a really good option right now. But the way he was yeah. talking about it, like, okay, tur like first two turns, unattached Ellie, Wonder Woman, and strategy game, Bat or uh, Superman, merge into the duo between the team base and the duo. You have four attacks, so you can kill Dupe in one, in one turn. Yeah. Um, um, 
Yeah, I was gonna put the power point on that team just so I could mind control, like attack gluttony once, have the meta intensifier ring, then you get a free action mind control. You're on the second click. You eat dupes. Uh, you eat the resource basically. Right. But, like, you're still taking mystics, and it's a short dial. You don't have any supports. So it doesn't work. It wasn't gonna work. The thing I uh, something pointed out. I don't know if John had put this in there, but I know Alex brought up, and also you could just simply split the duo into 250 points Superman. It's like, oh, okay. I have a, I have a team of 550 points. Basically. For a, for a 300 point team base. If there was something I could better, like, if, sadly, if, like, uh, you can't do any more, but what Jake did at The Rock when for the Silver Age event, when he just, he took off Flash, because Flash is near useless on that team base. Oh, hell yeah. And put on, uh, because well, you don't, because he's a crappy, he's crappy, and then he doesn't have a good asset, and then you don't start off on the asset anyways. It's like no, and is you don't want to, you don't want to. But him. doesn't the team base have a trait based on having all the dudes on it? Also, uh, I think so, like yeah, it's like their powers can't be countered if they are all are all on or something. I don't think it matter. I don't think he cared too much because he got to place the he had the fucking uh, gamma bomb on it instead. And then just the uh, fact that I can do yeah, so when all team members are attached, the powers can't be countered. Yeah, and I just I don't yeah, think but you have stealth already. You don't really need it. Yeah, exactly. And he, he's uh, yeah, just having the gamma bottom place. Just like what I was playing, I had a sadly had to run into him like was it third or fourth round? Fourth round of the Swiss of top thirty-two at the Rock, and I had to run into him. So I played, I played M10 Iron Man at at 125, two Raptors, Scotty's Warbot, uh, and then I think just a full book and split lip. Uh, what did I play against though? Oh, I played against uh, Eddie Rod or uh, Eddie Martinez round one, and I beat him on time. Yeah, because he proceeded to p- complain about how he would have had me another turn or something like that. Um, because he's playing Ophidian on it was White Battery Ophidian on or uh, Entity on Dupe Ophidian on Proxima, Three Point Pog for Catapult, and the Green Lantern Pog or the Recruit Pog or something like that that has like Indom and Flight. Yeah, uh, just carrying people around. Uh, he missed his Shape Change roll on Proxima, and she died like in a single hit from M10, I think. Wow. Yeah, and it just came down to like, I don't think he ever dealt damage to M10 and I had one Raptor at the end of the battle so that's all, I'm, that's all that mattered. Second round was a Bizarro that I got like, he took forever and I should have just called a judge on him because he was taken so fucking slow. I had to remind him every turn to roll for Bizarro because it was a Bizarro Mystics team with the Phoenix Force and Parallax on Phantom Girl. I got Phantom Girl and Bizarro down to their like one one token and her last click and time was yeah. called. It's like it's kind of difficult though, unless you just tell the judge to just sit there and watch. Like you can't really call somebody on time on on stalling. Cause it's like well, I should have just the fact yeah. that I had to remind him to roll his Bizarro so many times. I should have just asked him, like, judge, can you sit here and watch him? Because it, like it was him taking fucking forever. Cause my my team my. It was really easy for what I had to do. Just dropping. I've hands. just learned this game like he has turns against certain people, or just in general. Well, they, the next apparently the next match they did a filmed match, and it was another bizarre team versus his, and they went to a fucking roll off. That's so boring. So it's like, oh my god! And then I had to play some guy who was running a capture team. He was one running like a power plant black talon capture team. He captured my. M10 and then it got shit on by the Raptors and Scotty's Warbot. The but Raptors, just, the uh, the common from Guardians, right? Yeah. It's, it's there's, a solid piece, yeah. Yeah, 45 points. Sidestep, stealth, like exploit, like 10 attack. Yeah. Um, I might, like... I did like seeing, like, someone... I know Jason played against someone at Nationals who was using the new uh, Iron Legions. I'm not sure they're better... I know that guy was terrible at the game, though. He doesn't really count, unless it was a different team. But like that guy was just oh, awful. Maybe, 
It's like he came all the way to Nats and then still didn't didn't play at any events and then later wanted to buy my Spider Ham. I'm like, you could have played at events. <laughs> like, what the fuck did you come here for? Like, yeah, if you don't come at least with some money in hand, at least play some side events. He just, like, like, don't bother didn't coming. Didn't play. He just like did other things. He like like touristy stuff. Uh, to each their own, I guess. But still, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have made the trip for nationals to. I played a bunch. I, yeah, I ended up winning. Uh, ended up with like walking up with like five out con at least. Yeah, if I had just decided, like, if I should have decided early on after doing so, if I couldn't have won with, if I couldn't have qualified, it went three one with fucking Manhunter and not qualified, I just like fuck this. I should just play in side events. Yeah. Which I'm glad. Know, like I don't know how it is where you're, by you, but like like local trading here is awful. Oh, uh, we have to do like all our stuff is online usually. We don't have people. M- most of the people around here are really stingy, unless we have some new player and we're really trying to help him out. He has a piece we really want. We're willing to tr- over trade for it. Basically, like, so, yeah. Like people are just like really. There's a lot of people that are just hard to deal with and just. Ugh. Yeah, there's just like. I'm willing to be pretty reasonable, but if some people are just like, you know, some people are undervaluing my figures and overvaluing theirs. At the yeah. Same that's time. usually it. just like, Oh, I have a chase. It's worth like so much. It's like, it's worth as much as we say it is like people, like people love saying, cause I, I analyze the secondary market a lot and they're like, well, it's like, you know, on eBay, it's like this. I'm like, all right, then go and sell it for that. But if you're not selling on eBay, I don't care. Like you can't say it's like this isn't magic where like we're so we have such a strong secondary market, like half our secondary market is just being part of groups where we trade with each other. Yeah. So it's like you can't just like try to dictate like an eBay is so fucking random. Like you'll find someone with a hot really high value, and then you'll find someone that's selling something for nothing. So no, yeah. you can't like almost. Well, Spider Ham's going for 150. It's like, all right, then go and sell him for 150. But otherwise, if you want some of my stuff, like, let's work out a deal and shut up. Yeah. Stop being unreasonable. It's like, if we both end up happy, that's good enough in terms of hero clicks. I don't want to hear, like, like yeah. I'm not trying to, tr- like, trick you out of pieces or something. This con, this year's cons are particularly nice looking, but dial wise, could be better. I'm just hoping the last three are decent dial wise. They were pretty good last year. Like Hex wasn't meta, and his sculpt could be better. Like he has no mine has no face, but he's pretty good. Yeah, I still have mine. I still want to at least play mine for one tournament. That's he's one of the. I still have a Mezo. It's just because I haven't found someone. I haven't found a place willing to buy a Mezo for a good price, and because I haven't found someone willing to trade anything decent for my Mezo. Yeah. So that's the only reason I still have him. Other than that, I've sold most, sold or traded most of my pieces away. I sold, I well, I have World's Finest still, and I have Dupe still, but because I play Huntress, I've tried Huntress in the meta a few times, and she's not bad. No. Um. Yeah. Hex is not meta, but he's pretty good. He's just yeah, he's too expensive. Well, especially for, like not with. Wiz kids doesn't understand power creep, or if they do, and they just don't care because their fig- so many figures just get invalidated with each set coming out. Not so much this set, surprisingly. Yeah, There's... not sure how much of a splash the set's gonna make. Like ID cards, yeah, maybe no once, gems, but like not really that much. It's surprising. Maybe when the resource comes out, they'll they'll do better, but. Well, because even like even with what we know of the resource so far, we're still missing some stuff. So, plus there's well, supposed to be that mechanic where I think only we're only missing. Well, the there's also like supposedly according to that like article on Realms, there was there was a mechanic having to do with whether or not the cards were turned up or down, up or to the side, and we don't know what that does yet. So there's definitely something we're missing. I'm also, I don't even remember if it mentioned like what the dial, if, I don't remember if the abilities mentioned what the dial even does. Just has powers, I think, and like the parachute stuff in relation to like whether or not slots are used. But nothing particularly important. I don't even know if there's any, any combat value stuff on it. 
Yeah, that's the big. We're losing. That's that's the. That's why, like, between the belt and the book, we're losing like two of the best stat bumping resources of currently available. That yeah, actually well, with you an enemy battery, you're doing. You're still doing okay. Yeah, it's just that's a point investment, though. Like, yeah, and it's the belt is so under costed. It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, this the Rock of Eternity is worthless. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, and Pandora's box is also just no. You, you get plus that, ones, and that takes like seven turns. And you have to give the biggest problem is giving power actions to your own guys. So like, you have yeah. to waste actions giving like all right, waste actions to give this guy this one thing like. It's yeah, too slow. No. It's way too slow. Um, yeah. It's unfortunate. It's just whether or not they're gonna like sneak a resource into like one of these upcoming sets or not. Yeah. It seems like they're just towing down resources in general, which isn't not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. I mean I won't that's why I wouldn't be surprised like if people just start using entities and the the round table for calling in guys because entities are pretty much resources in many a way and they're always a set cost mm -hmm. you always know what you're getting you're not usually getting something random until someone takes damage where's that thor really want that thor so i'm just, I'm just trying to lay out everything in terms of like what i have what are my? I took out all my rares, my primes, and my super, my super rares and my chases. I'm just trying to lay all my extras off to one side. And I don't yeah. think I pulled my Thor out of his back because I do not see blue lightning. Hmm. But he was one of my first packs, so he might be at the bottom of the stack somewhere. Yeah. Barely recognized it was him too. Yeah. That's another thing I noticed. Like the primes, the all super rare primes have gone way down as more sets come out. I think that has to do with distribution. Yeah, I know more. I got a couple, like, I pulled Doc Spectrum and Wizard in my first brick for each of those sets. They weren't worth anything? Oh, they were, well, Wizard was. Um, well, yeah, well, I think the problem was also that, like, they didn't do, they weren't, like, compatible with each other, and, like, you couldn't do the team, and they didn't have any other keywords, really, so yeah, it was annoying. I I was telling people they're going to have to release a fucking ATA eventually. Just, they, it should have costed points, though. I'm fine. It doesn't cost points. I mean, they all cost really high points, so I think that balances out. I think Dr. Spectrum is definitely undercosted. Oh, his yeah. With trait, he essentially never has below an 11 attack. He has 11 to 14 attacks on his own. Yeah, he's... Plus his damage, plus his... He's, Wizard's not as undercosted, and Hyperion is, I think, fairly appropriately costed. But like, if it costed like points, like not zero, just because like it just means you're playing a bunch of super undercosted figures together. Well, the thing theory. is, like, even like at a minimum, though, it's like one two thirty with the lowest costing of the two of the yeah. four. So it's like you're already only playing two guys on a team, probably maybe a third guy, or no, you're not playing no. a third guy. Not in meta, at least. So, you're yeah. You might do like those two, two entities, and then a, a small resource, but probably not even. Well, you can't even have the entities because you'll break theme. Oh yeah, you can't even do that now. That's no. Nope. Wow. And it, so and it wouldn't. Be, it wouldn't be a. Uh, it has to be a squadron supreme theme team. You could do like entity. pogs. Yeah, you can. You can throw pogs in a resource. Yeah. But uh, it's. Like uh, the only one I could see, it's it'd be Wizard and Doc Spectrum, and then something else. I don't, I don't even. I don't see that doing good. Yeah, it's too. It's too few actions a turn, and, and just weight doesn't work against what's out there in the meta. Yeah, it's like it would totally would lose so hard to just dupe and guanies between the Mystics and everything else. Well, and then their defenses I aren't. Think, good. Yeah, I mean, you could get a few hits. It's. It depends, I guess, how many, how much you, they would heal back. You could probably do it. Cause you could take care of dupe first, but not really because of the healing. Like, it's just, yeah, it's doesn't work. You could like do a pulse. You could basically start pulse waving and then do two attacks on dupe with wizard. But like, then your combat values aren't necessarily going to be good enough unless you're like, you 
can't do a book because then you're doing it too slow. But like that's the best way to get your attack values to what you need them to be. Well, you could get three attacks off in a turn, which would and if you could just finish off dupe the next turn, you take off yeah. like half his board. Because I mean, Wizard starts off in eleven. He can make. If there was attacks. a way to give Force Blast so you could running shot Pulse Wave with Spectrum Force Blast separate them. But then Gluttony gets sidestep anyways. It doesn't work. The glut. I don't think Gluttony's is like big an issue though, just because he's way too. He, like you could just run away and then you just have to prepare to fight him, or just run away the rest of the time. Yeah. And he'll probably you never need to hit you. get rid. You need to KO Dupe first. So that's yeah. Dupe is the, the healing. Yeah, for you uh, have the range advantage and whatnot, and then like you can just do yeah the three attacks a turn until you've got them. But then the question is, what the hell resource do you even use? Um. Mm. Uh, maybe, well, because it would boost the attack, because damage, uh, mo- damage for the most part doesn't even matter, because you only care no. about killing one. So I'd say maybe even, like, maybe a uh, Phoenix Force just on for the plus one attack. Start off on, uh, I think, two assigned to give plus one attack. Yeah, and then you can just go to the back, kill Split Lip, turn the dial to whatever, and then go nuts. Yeah, it slows them down enough, and then just take out dupe and if you want to take try and take out gluttony try and take him out but then just you, if it comes to it you can always run away yeah and then once you're at that point you can ignore his mystics with pulse wave so you're not hurting as much right yeah Even but that of- i don't know against other things like i don't see that really doing so well yeah that's that was the thing which is it was it was the only th- team we could come up with with that could actually utilize that that ATA. And then maybe, and then you can use maybe uh, put in a Scotty's Warbot. Yeah, you put Scotty's Warbot or another one of those. Because our, hmm, I don't know how much you would, um, how how high value, what what point value your Phoenix Force would be at. Because even if you could fit, the thing is, well, you don't want to fit too many Pogs because you don't want to give them easy points. So Scotty's no. Warbot would probably be the only one you want to run. Uh probably. And the only person you can use that against is Dupe, or I don't even know if you want to use it against Dupe because he's precision strike already. And 11 on a 19, like, no. And you can't up the stats because you can't do the resource. So, no. <sighs> it's for It doesn't work. Sadly, I'm wondering if we'll get, if they're going to give us one last one in Nick Fury. The only person I, I, I recognize still they haven't put in there is. Nighthawk. Night, yeah, I don't even and know he, any of the. I don't know the squadron supreme at all. He's just like a knockoff because I remember his. Time no, I know they're the, all not. They're just all straight up basically knockoffs. But he was like, like he doesn't have anything cool about him of Batman. All he all he is is like he was rich. That's that's what. So he, somehow he even lamer than Night Owl, which is sad. Pretty much like even like at one point Songbird comes up to him and tells him. Like during Civil War, that they only used him for the Thunderbolts, only used him for his money. Wow. So it's like, yeah, there's nothing because we've had Nighthawks in the past. So you can just check out their dials, and none of them are scream no. like, "Oh yeah, I'm really good." Like, no. I still need to find a because f- even Alex commented on how the uh, <laughs> or no, we don't have the Shield and Power Princess, so I might have to alter ours. And that was kind of disappointing. She doesn't have the shield that Power Princess usually has. No, it's a, yeah. I don't see why you would even bother, though. Nah, it's just something we like. Oh, like, uh, he had he a, just, like he has an awesome uh, Morgan Le Fay that he put the lightning bolts from Thor. He D, put the uh, M10. No, um, yeah, from the M10 uh, Thor. He also edit. He also changed his. Scarlet Witch to be like standing on this standing on this Iron Man helmet and shooting out this the blast from Avengers Prime that's coming out of the, like the wow. chest beam coming out of uh, well, I'm sure he Iron probably Man. got it from another piece but is there one? I don't even know No he used an Avengers Prime I know he just he dismantled wow. the fuck out of one Still well, a really looked... good piece uh, although only at 400 Yeah I played against a 300.1 and that didn't end well. Oh dear. 
Oh, that's something I need to go. I need to go on Facebook and make sure I start like just posting all these groups. Like, who wants one of these? And I want fucking Rick Jones. Do I want anything else though? No. Yeah, I pretty much only want Thor, maybe King Thor, and then I'm basically done with the set minus ID cards. Probably not going to put King Thor up for trade in that one, just because I feel King Thor's value is still higher than Rick Jones. Probably. I don't know. He's oh, as far oh, as I've he's seen, almost four hundred points though. I I well, I don't. I'm never going to play him. I just currently on the secondary market, he's the most expensive. Yeah. So. I'll be back in a minute. All right. <coughs> Let's see. Where's my Thor figure? Thor. Thor. I know I pulled a fucking Thor. It was the first booster. I opened 60 fucking boosters. I can't find one fucking figure. I think everybody got a just a tiny bit overhyped over the set. Yeah, I mean it was just like honestly, I just felt yeah. the last couple of Marvel sets were disappointing. Like they were kind of like I like I didn't I didn't care for the whole zombie thing, so I could have cared. I less. basically got the ones of characters that I actually like, like Red Skulls, decent zombie, but like the characters, so that was good. It's really annoying how like so many of those villains we don't have in modern. Like that's the only Doom, and like it's just dumb. Yep, we do have other Magnetos. We don't have any other well, Super one, Scrolls. Well, two a bunch of Magnetos now, but then they're going to retire. But not that Wax one was that good, unless you're doing some Shatterstar bullshit. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think right. Nick Fury set's gonna be much much better though, just because like the material, like, what. Characters are going to be. Well, they also have they also have the driving force to use, and that's people are going to buy boosters to try and get the Hulk Buster pieces. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's an interesting, but yeah. seems to be dumb thing. That might be a pain in the ass because it's. I don't even understand because I saw the it's a it's a two by two base. It's a colossal base. I don't even know if that physically fits in a booster. Like, I just don't see like the like. From here to here, I don't like. They're gonna have to make a special booster to hold the base in. It says that the Mark II armor, whatever, assemble a figure is in the distribution. It doesn't say unless the unless they do something like the zombie team base, where the actual base is part of the OP kit. It says. Introduces the only assemble figure. Randomly inserted into packs are five unique 3D objects and a base slash card that all assemble to create the Hulkbuster. Yeah. So How the fuck? It's a two by yeah two by. It's not gonna fit. 
especially if it's the two by two and it has that little rock of so like because it shows like a little rock base attached to it. Like yeah, that it looks like it. five. It looks like the base leg, leg, torso, arm, arm. But how big is it going to be then? It looks pretty big. I just it seems like <laughs> plus though. it's going to be like you're going to be able to tell because it's the boosters are weighted. Oh god, that's going to be crazy. You know, just have people weighing boosters to try and get the pieces. Yeah. Well, I have a local store that's like nobody that like not a lot of people go to, so that's not gonna be a problem. But like my other local store, you just hand you the boosters, so it's not like that's an issue either. Yeah, I mean, the, I I don't usually buy individual boosters, anyways. It's yeah. I buy I buy case full cases, so yeah. I don't even know if I want to buy bricks or cases anymore. It's just like. It just seems that like the secondary market doesn't have stuff as valuable. Yeah, I really that's what I need to check. Is Troll and Toad already buying like this stuff yet? Because if they are, I can probably at least make some of my money back from all this from the sixty boosters I've opened. Yeah, so I got a, it's a nice looking set that like the sculpts seem uh, like the Nick Fury himself looks bland, but like that's a really cool looking Falcon. Yeah, we got the cool new Cap Falcon. We get the female Thor, even though I've heard people actually read the comic. She's it's not a very good comic. Yeah. It's more the dumb dumb gun looks pretty cool. I like getting all the guys again. We'll probably get like a new Gabe Jones. Yeah, I like uh, the command as well enough. I don't hey, there's what that the sh- what's that chick's name? There's this girl there's this female because I know like the scroll version of her like took out Dum Dum Dugan during S- Secret Invasion. Uh, I don't think we've ever gotten a version of her, and she's a shield agent. What is what are her powers or whatever? She, she's like this femme fatale character. I want to say she's French. Uh, Not sure. That's why I'm like, let me see, like known shield, or at least as far as I know, we've never gotten a version of her in clicks. Uh, we'll probably. I mean, we're definitely getting new Mary Hill, Daisy Johnson. I don't think we'll get a new Contest- GW bridge. Yeah, it's Contessa, Contessa Valentina, yeah. whatever the hell. Yes, Dale on Fontaine. Uh, we've, we've never, never heard, heard of her. I believe she's like some Cold War agent that f- fought for Shield, and I know she got replaced by a scroll at the beginning of uh, uh, Secret Invasion, and she took out Dum Dum and took him, made it, put a skull in his scroll in his place. It's going to be weird getting like a white Nick Fury now where the past, uh, I don't know, like four Nick Furies have all been the black one. Yeah, well, like sure. we had Captain We're America get- set one. And then one, two, three, five Nick Furies that we've just had are all the same old Jackson version. Well, I think we're also going to get the, because they do have a black one in the main comic now because it's the white Nick Fury is like mixed race son. Nick Fury Jr. is black. Right. So we're gonna probably get one of him in Nick Fury as well. I don't I don't remember if I saw his sculpt in uh Oh, I hope they start doing some of the Secret War stuff because I really am hoping for a uh, super uh superior Iron Man. Yeah. I could care less about the the Miles. We should be getting some new Secret Warriors too, hopefully, because I know Manifold got that keyword. Right. We need a, like a new, I'm expecting a new Luke Cage. I really hope we get a new Luke Cage. Um, new Miss Marvel. There's a She Hulk uh, card. I don't know if she's confirmed. She could be an Age of Ultron. Yeah, it's. I didn't read the story, so I'm not really. I just heard it was kind of meh, just because it was like a, a lot of time travel. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I heard when Ultron took over the world, like they didn't even show it on panel. It was just like Ultron took over the world. Like, okay, can we see that? No. Wow. Yeah, okay. I Thanks. started reading and I got bored. It's just like, okay, cool stuff happens. Yay! They wanted a new. I th- I would like a new Taskmaster because he was a Shield agent when they like unveiled that like two or three years ago. Yeah, that would be cool. They could do his wife, or his, they could do his daughter, who I think was part of the initiative. Yeah, it'd be interesting if they did a mechanic with like his like energy construct shield thing. 
well, I don't know what his daughter's name is though. Uh, relatives. Uh, what's her power? Finesse. Never heard of her actually. Yeah, she's just this chick. She kind of looks. She's in like this black and white uniform and wields two little batons, kind of like Mockingbird. Uh huh. But she has the same power as her father, where or her alleged father, where she can look at someone and copy their powers after yeah. watching them. I like the way they did the mechanic last time, and then we I noticed that Echo has a similar thing now. Yeah, that's because I trade. Actually, I pulled two. The first seal I did for Chaos where I pulled Doom Kang, but then I pulled one in my first case and I traded that one because it was my second one for my only... I never pulled Taskmaster in a booster. Yeah. I only luckily got one because a guy was willing to trade me one for it. So, another Taskmaster would be nice. Or even anything close to like the old Taskmasters, all three of them were really unbelievably powerful for being way under-costed. Yeah. 11 attack for like 60 points or something. Yeah, I think it was a t- one of them at a 12, maybe the vet. Taskmaster. Oh, there's actually... Oh, they're all the same figure. Um, no. Oh, yeah, the vet at 12, like 8 stealth, oh, wow. 12 blades, 16 ESD, 2 perplex. The rookie had an 11? Yeah, for 39 points. That's and, crazy. And minions of Doom, and 5 clicks. 39 points, you won't get 5 clicks nowadays. <laughs> You won't get a 16D either, and having two damage on all of them, you'll always roll blades. Which you don't see that. Like, that's what I was surprised about Whirlwind, because Whirlwind has a two damage, and most of the blades characters we have nowadays, they always have a three damage, so you don't know, you're not really sure if you yeah. want to roll blades or not. Like, the Ellie Wonder Woman, I think, basically always has blades when she has uh, three damage when she has blades. I'm like, why would I roll blades? I guess, actually, probability wise, you're still good yeah. if you're rolling with the three damage but like you don't really want to there's like there's you, always, I mean, yeah. it's it's only a two-thirds chance you get equal or better two it's like but what, also two, like six there's only two-thirds chance you'll get uh there's only one third chance you'll get a lower result too so yeah there's whereas two you're two yeah. the value is too good like okay five yeah. five i love six. giving like a lot of i like giving one damage characters like blade somehow fun yeah that's why i like uh i like that on sloth oh yeah can't modify his damage anyway so yeah but he can't replace so that works this one is a nine attack and blades with three damage that's stupid i'm just looking at the the, the avengers taskmaster i can't believe he's one more point than the he's one, yeah and he's so bad just so terrible. He was never even close to ugh. even Avenger. Like Avengers was still had much better figures than that. I'm gonna think about. It. I'm gonna head it out. Uh, I think I'm about to head out. I gotta move some of this shit, and I still gotta work in the morning. Yeah. So this is Late good talking here. Yeah, it's it's nearly it's two thirty here. Oh, you have, oh you're on the same time as me then. Yeah, I'm on East Coast. Uh-huh. I gotta post this picture asking if someone wants one of these two chases for my. Uh, oh, for I, hope Rick Jones. Rick. I hope you get Rick. I have I no idea how I'm gonna get mine, but I'll, I have to somehow. Yeah, I need a Rick, and I really don't want to spend money on it. Yeah, I, I actually really want to just trade this Iron Man for it. <laughs> I'd rather keep Black Widow, so, but Iron Man. That Iron Man's so bad. Someone can take this big dumpy Iron Man, and I love how like. It's he like Korvac is like as big as he is, but he's only standard size. Yeah, I commented on that, but in my at the first video, but I probably like, volume wasn't working. It's but, probably but the look, biggest figure for, like to put him next to Hulk, and Hulk has giant size, and Hulk Hulk's smaller than the Iron Man, and Iron Man doesn't have giant size. Yeah, I like this Hulk a lot. I guess the actual color of his paint job versus like the bus, like the bus is much more of like a, a sick. Like a sickly kind of nuclear green, but this Hulk is like just regular bright green. The movie Hulk has a darker tone than he does. Like, well, that's uh, my friend actually painted. Like, he got one of the Target Hulks, and that one was really bright green, and it wasn't. Whereas the movie, it's really dark. So he took like a uh, he took yeah. a bl- black or green wash, 
which is like water based paint, and just like did a small coat on it to make the move to make it coincide with the movie look. The eyes are also really badly done. Uh, I, I don't even bother looking at the eyes at this point, just because most of them look like crap. Yeah, they're usually the never. Movie sculpts are usually really good. Arcade's eyes light up or line up. Yeah. Uh, Jarvis's does, but there's no detail in his face. Yeah, like this Hulk is all. He's otherwise a good sculptor. Like I'll probably get my friend to dark, make him look darker and not as. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna call it a night. Good talking yeah. with you, sir. You too. We hope for more people, but yeah, I'll try it next time. Once I don't know, maybe when I don't know, I'll I'll do something.